recording. Oh no, we're gonna be recording. All right, so I'll go over some roll twenty stuff first, and then as things go on, five E is really streamlined, so I can kind of explain it as it happens. But I will walk through this sheet real quick first. Uh, but all of you should be on a gray page that has everyone's portraits and then little tokens underneath it, correct? Yes. Yes. So yep. can each of you click on your token and move it? You have the correct token permissions and everything? Yes. Yeah. Looks good. Krogal smash. <laughs> for my own sanity, but also for yours, if you click on your token, you will see it pops up a radial menu. Mm-hmm. Uh, the red bar is your hit points, the gray is your armor class, and those of you who have spells and stuff, your spell save DC will be the blue circle. Oh, cool. Well, I just killed myself. Well done. If you change your hit points in the token radial menu, it will change the hit points on your sheet and vice versa. If you get new armor and change your armor class on your sheet, it will update your token appropriately. Oh, I see. All right, well, I'm going to start off with zero hit points. Uh, good, but. yeah. <laughs> it's been nice having you on. Uh. <laughs> you choke on a chicken bone before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it would probably be a dragonborn, so I could be a dragon dead. <laughs> All right, please continue about <laughs> For the mathematically impaired in the group, uh, you don't have to do math when you're changing your hit points. For instance, Thorfinn, you have 11 hit points. If you got mm. hit for 5 damage and you didn't feel like mathing that, instead of having to write 6 in the bubble, you can just click on the bubble, bubble, hit minus 5, and it will math it for you, but you must hit enter afterwards. I see. That's, that's very awesome. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yes, like it. The... Uh, bottom two menus, one of them will open the actual token menu. You can do crazy things like set auras around your token and change the name and stuff like that. But the other one will let you put little symbols that I'll use for things like sleep or haste or any of that stuff. Like Thorfinn's being really sneaky right now, so he has a ninja mask. <laughs> oh my Obviously. God. Garland is dead, so he gets a big X. <laughs> Hmm. That's it. Yes, Beautiful. Uh, all right, there we go. Atlas and crossbone. There, there you go. Just pile them all on there. All right. So, any questions about token movement and general tokeny madness? No. How do I get rid of that X you put on me? <laughs> <laughs> Unclick it. Oh, I see it. I see it. I, I was looking for where the X was, but I found it. Got it. All right, so go ahead and open your character sheets if you don't have them already. We'll go over a couple of key locations of things. On the left-hand side, in a long column down the side, you will see all of your six main ability scores, Strength, Dex, Con, Int, Wisdom, and Charisma. Uh, if you click on any of those, things that when you mouse over they highlight red it will automatically roll in the chat so next to that you'll see all of your saving throws and your skills uh, you don't have to manually type anything in if I tell you to make a perception check you can just click perception and it will roll it automatically good job Mary <laughs> oh right I'm still a dragon <laughs> Uh, likewise for saving throws, if the ceiling was falling, I might say you need to make a dexterity save to jump out of the way. Uh, mm -hmm. You would click dexterity save, it automatically does all the math and everything and figures it out. You will note that when it rolls something in the chat, it rolls two numbers. I have advantage, disadvantage turned on uh, automatically, so we will always be using the left number unless advantage or disadvantage applies. In 5th edition, you have a mechanic called advantage-disadvantage instead of all of the 
mathematical monstrosity that 3.5 and Pathfinder have, where if you are standing on a table, you get plus two, but you're flanking, so you get plus two, and it's the third Tuesday of the month, so that's plus one, and you're using a longsword, so that's plus three, and it's the, you know, a full moon, so if your enemy's a dwarf, you do six extra damage. I, you know, all that stuff is cleaned out of the way, and you have advantage and disadvantage. If you have advantage on an attack, or a check, you roll two d20s and you take the better one. If you have disadvantage on an attack or a skill check, you roll two d20s and you take the lowest one. Cool. 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 Center of the character sheet at the top, you will see your armor class, your initiative, and your speed. Armor class is what I must roll to hit you. Your initiative is a d20 plus that number determines when you go in combat. And your speed is how far you can move. The squares we will be using are five foot. So if you have a 30 foot speed, you can move six squares. For our height inclined characters, you should have 25 and can only move five squares. Yay. Yeah, but they're good strides. Yeah, yeah, they need to be in the back anyways. We can walk faster, it's okay. We, we take our this. time. Yeah, smell the roses. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Chew our food slower, <laughs> we don't choke. <laughs> hit, hit points is directly under that uh, we already talked about how you can change your hit points on your token uh, if you feel like changing it on your sheet instead that's where you would change it oh god I don't, I don't even want to know what y'all are doing not encouraging this. Uh, beneath that is your hit dice your hit dice is determined by what class you are so a rogue's uh, hit dice is a d Eight, whereas a barbarian's hit dice is a d12. When you take a rest, you can opt to roll your hit dice and regain that amount of hit points. So it would be your hit dice plus your constitution modifier. Mm. At level one, you can have one hit die. You get one hit die every time you level up based on which class you level into. We'll go over that again when it becomes rest time, but now for the fun bits, directly underneath that is all of the cool shit you can do attack-wise. So, any of the weapons you have in your inventory are automatically mathed up into this uh, attacks and spellcasting slots, and any spells you have in your spellbook automatically come here as well. Instead of having to know that your attack is a d20 plus 3 and it does 1d8 plus 1 piercing damage, you can just click on the crossbow and it will do that thing. So you will see, again, it rolls advantage and disadvantage, so we're going to use that left number, and I just have it set to automatically roll the damage so that you don't have to go and click for the damage as well. Ooh, very cool. <laughs> Huzzah! Which brings us to our next point, since a couple of people are throwing spells around, Mary. Uh, I have the Pro subscription, which allows me API input. So I have uh, scripts in my Roll20 that will do things like count spell slots for you. So since you just cast a first level spell, you use one of your spell slots and <laughs> you need... No take backs. <laughs> yeah, you need to go. This is why I've been, nope, why I've been using <laughs> That's why I've been using Kentrick. Hold on. Ooh, rough. So oh, for, no, the, back, right? for the spellcasters in the group, <laughs> if you click on the spells tab, which is in the upper right hand underneath where your experience points is tracked, you can go take back the spell slot you just used. Perfect. Cantrips. I can spam cantrips. That's what they're for. Why, why does it keep spamming that attack thing? Oh, I had that come up a couple of times. If you just delete the thing and plug it in by searching what the spell is, it fixed it. So hmm. Must be the... Uh, compendium being weird again. Yeah. We'll be fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll be okay. Well, I think it just cast Jibber Jabber, so, you know, we're fine. What ifs? Underneath your attacks and spellcasting is your equipment. Uh, all of y'all got just the starting equipment based on your uh, character class and background. Uh, but as you pick shit up in the dungeon, you can hit that little plus sign and it will add another line and you can type the stuff in. Uh, if it's something out of the compendium, I can explain how that works as well. So, on the right-hand side above the chat, there is an I in a circle that says compendium. If you click on that bad boy, it'll give you a bunch of different sections you can pick, or you can just type into the box. So, if you type short sword, it will find short sword. 
And then if you hit that little plus sign on your character sheet and add a new slot, you can drag short sword onto your sheet and you don't have to go figure out what a short sword does. The sheet does it for you. Let me know if you have questions. Okay, I see that. And then... Figure it out, Mary. I'm getting there. Say it again. I got distracted. I'm sorry. I'll All pay right. attention. It's cool. We'll go over it if anyone needs at a later point. But there okay. shouldn't be anything too major equipment-wise. Um, the upper right hand part of your character sheet is all of your personality traits. They were just the default ones picked it mostly random out of the book. Uh, feel free to adjust as needed. And then underneath of that is the features and trait box where all of your racial and class features are listed out as well as the feature that comes from your background. Being a one shot, you will most likely not be needing your background features. But each of the backgrounds in 5th edition has something cool roleplay-wise like tied to it. If your background is a sailor, you can get free passage for you and your party on a ship. If you're an entertainer, you can you know, play an instrument at the inn and get a free stay for you and your friends. If you're a criminal, you have like black market contacts that you can do shady shit with, so on and so forth. Good job. Uh, and then finally, for the spellcasters in the group, if you click on the spells tab, you will see all of your cantrips and your spells. Um, most of the stuff should carry over into attacks and spellcasting on the front sheet, but uh, some of your non-attack spells will not. So just make sure that you're okay with the spells you have selected, or let me know if you want to change them out or what. Oh, hmm. That's just one shot, so I might want to change them right now. Okay. You do you, boo. All right. Appreciate it. Hmm. And then otherwise, I'm going to go ahead. As far as the uh, spells with the components, like, do we actually have to have those, or can we say we narrowed up enough to do <laughs> Each of the spellcasters in the group has an item that allows them to cast without material components, except for any spell that requires costed material components. For example, if uh, the spell says you need a diamond worth 100 gold, you actually need that diamond worth 100 gold or to spend the 100 gold on it. But being a one-shot, I didn't pick anything that requires you to physically have something like cool. because you're all level one noobs. I was just wondering if I had to go on a mini adventure to find a rose petal. Nope. Uh, on your character sheet, you should either have an arcane focus or a component pouch. I believe you have a component pouch. So all of your salamander eyes, your spider oh, string, and all of that shit is in there, and you won't have to go find two rat droppings and a gold coin to cast magic missile. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to change one spell. Okay. I'm quickly looking over spells to decide if I want to. I can change them. I think clerics can change them every day, but if this is a one day one shot, mm -hmm. then it really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, picking up what you're putting down. Uh, and it's kind of all dungeon crawly. Like I said, it's just to teach people 5e and to teach people mm -hmm. roll 20. So, like, there's. We're, I'm not going to spend the whole thing standing in town talking about what to do. I'm going to let people punch stuff and <laughs> see how they like it. A right. four-hour shopping tutorial. That <laughs> sounds familiar. Hmm. That's not the spell I wanted. <laughs> Listen here, friend. All right. Listen, All right. I have the in-character strength to drag the plot <laughs> into <laughs> town. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, um, World 20 is very cool. Did not know it had so many capabilities that could tie to each other. That's right. There's there's a ton of it that like just the core free Roll 20 has. There are certain things that um, since I have the highest tier subscription that normal people can't do, but just by itself Roll 20 is amazing. 
Mm -hmm. um, some of the cool benefits of the pro subscription include the API access to play things like Edge of the Empire because of the weird dice. Right. Um, but uh -huh. another thing is like group initiative is the scripts that I have. So if oh, I did, so yeah, if I did not have the pro stuff, I would have to have each of y'all roll your initiative, but I would also have to roll each individual bad guy initiative or depending on the game group of bad guy initiative. Yeah, I oh. I think I play with a person who DMs and is, has a normal subscription and initiative does take like five minutes because of all the crazy rolling and plugging and right. junk. But so like I just selected all the character tokens on the the front page that y'all are all looking at. Mm -hmm. Click one button oh. and initiative is done and it's in descending order and everything. Just bam. Oh, I like how our uh, rogue is like... Uh, no. <laughs> Well, uh, hey. Nim, Nim <laughs> got a shitload of, uh, y'all all got a shitload of stuff because I had yeah. the dragon selected and it rolled with the dragon's yep. initiative, but you know, dragons. <clears throat> Throw my grease. <laughs> <laughs> and run. Get the heck out. <laughs> okay, so yeah, fix that. Is there any other questions anyone has before we start, like, moving forward? Uh, I am briefly checking the spell list. Yep, y'all can do spell things. I'm just glad I wore my glasses so that I can push up my glasses and pretend I know shit. Mm, <laughs> that's, yeah, without the glasses. <laughs> I mean, okay. I'm Did... say I'm good. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna change friends with Mage Hand, but I think that's it. Okay. Cool. Gonna mute my phone. Alright, I'm ready. Did anyone uh, bother to read the intro thing on the like login screen, or should I really read it aloud? There's an intro. There you yeah. go. <laughs> what, what he said. All right. I so, <laughs> uh, what y'all are doing is you are in the town of Stonehaven, and roughly about a half day's travel south of town, there's an old fort, uh, like a stone mm -hmm. tower built on top of a wooden hill or a wooded hill. Uh, but over the past several days, um, merchants and travelers coming up the road from the south have said that not only are there a bunch of tracks leading up to the tower, but there's been smoke rising from the ruins. And so each of you has been sought out and hired for one reason or another to head down there and figure out what's going on. And if it's anything malicious to deal with it accordingly so you guys could be adventurers or mercenaries or you might just be some weird gnome wizard that wants to go like learn about the history of the site but what i'm going to need from you guys is y'all will be heading down a flight of stairs into the tower proper and so i need a <clears throat> marching order whoever is southmost will be the one walking in first but you can fit two across because it is a 10 foot hallway hmm. so you get to the tower and you stomp around and stuff you do not see anyone up top but there is clear signs that somebody has set up camp here there's a burned out campfire there's a bunch of tracks and you know other signs of life and then the tower is completely ruined there's what used to be a couple of floors still standing, but the one whole side of the tower is collapsed. But in the bottom floor, in the rubble, you do find a set of stairs leading down, and the there is like the flicker of firelight down there, so you decide this must be where the peoples be. All right. In the wise words of someone who can talk with 16 charisma, People's be here. Let's go. <laughs> well, check out my sweet artistic skills. Y'all are headed south, and the hallway is ten feet wide. So please arrange yourself in marching order. All right. Who has the highest AC? You probably. It's a fourteen. I'm at the twelve. I Whoa. don't want to get stepped on. <laughs> All right. Move. All right. Move forward. Forever, you barbarian. I'm, uh, yeah, there we go. Here, you know what? I'll be a frontline warlock. It's fine. <laughs> Look, the two biggest people don't need to be in front blocking the passageway. <laughs> you don't need to see the hit people. <laughs> leave room for okay. gnomes to run away. No, don't leave an open space. 
space for me to throw things. Just go on, go on. Do you not have blind sense? Fine. I'll, I'll be here. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, now that is just... Oh, the dwarf is going to be in front? No, no, no. You got okay. this, buddy. I believe in you. Oh, boy. I am uncomfortable. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this looks fine. Final answer. Yeah, I think it's the final answer. Well, All right. It's final answer. Let's move back. So wait, no, there might be. A I think track. it's good to be stacked. Yeah. Let's yeah, just let's make like it. This. Yeah, there we go. There that, we go. That, that mm, perfect. Beautiful. We got there. Bravo. Oh man. <laughs> Serpentine. Right. Give me a second. Hey for, guys. For magic. He's feeling like a victor. Oh. Ooh. Oh. All right, so it should be all dark, but there is a section in the middle that you should be able to see. So scroll downish and to the right, and you should see all of you. Oh yes, I see. Oh, there, oh, there we are. I'm not gonna meta game, but I see something at the end of the hall. A chair. <laughs> Why is there a chair at the end of the hall? In case you're tired. So when Anakin is here, we can yell at him to take a seat. <laughs> yeah, not, in my experience, they're usually used to sit in, but uh, it could be a monster. Mimics are real. A monster yeah. chair. That's for sure. All right, well, let's so shoot it. you guys come down the uh, the stone stairs and you enter uh, what was clearly the basement of the old tower. The mm -hmm. floors here are flagstone. They're like five foot squares, kind of gray, kind of dirty and dusty. <clears throat> The ceilings are about 10 feet high, just for the record. And the area is currently lit by torchlight. In front of you, there are four columns. Mm -hmm. And in the center of those four columns is like a ratty carpet on the floor. There are hallways to the east and west and one to the south where you found the aforementioned chair in what appears to be a chamber that's opening up both east and west. Mm. And this was supposed to be like an abandoned fort, essentially. Essentially. All right. So this is weird, right, guys? I mean, sure there are tracks heading up the hill, but like something's definitely been using this as a uh, outpost. Hey, <clears throat> maybe someone just needed to take a break. Yeah. Sit down in the chair over there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a rest stop or something. <sighs> yeah, maybe. Could be. Could be bandits though. Or, you know, goblins. Mm. There's only one way to find out. March mm. onwards. I'm thinking the same thing. I bet there's something underneath that ratty rug. Hey, uh... Hold on. Yeah, you guys go check. I'll stand back here in case. You're the yeah. rogue. Uh, yeah, Krog, yeah, Krog out. The, yeah, the Krog rug. out. You want to step on the rug by yourself, and uh, we'll just stay back here. <laughs> oh, wait. If she's going on the rug, let me just uh, adjust yeah. myself. There yeah, we let's... go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Y'all are a brave bunch, aren't you? Um, <laughs> as, as, uh, hey, DM, as we're entering this vicinity in a bit of a ruckus, mm -hmm. can I, do we hear anything of any sort? Respond? Uh, uh, aside from the rest of you, making mm -hmm. noise and such. Uh, let me go ahead and reveal more that you're moving down. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, oh, so... Uh, I see walls. Good job. Yeah, good eye. You hear voices this way. You see my red arrow. Is it cool? <clears throat> They're just normal talking tones, but you hear banging and... Uh, Kind of an argument coming from this way, but it sounds like it's a little ways off. Oh. Nothing seems to be immediately responding to y'all coming down the stairs. Uh, well, hey, uh, be deaf, then. How's Let's checking that rug going? All. Yeah, I'm gonna check the rug. All right. Are there traps in the rug? <laughs> you like reaching down and picking up the rug? Yeah. All right, so you bend down and you grab the ratty rug and you kind of go to lift it up and you realize it's pinned in place and you kind of give it a little tug and it rips free and underneath there is a eight foot deep like hole dug. You think it was a you know pit trap for anyone that didn't know the, the secret hole was there to come marching down and fall to their 
uh, minor so, yeah, annoyance. Pretty rugged trap there. The, yeah, no, the, the gnome thing. adjusts her glasses and say, <clears throat> "Told you." <laughs> yeah, it doesn't uh, seem like uh, anybody staying here for a waypoint would do that. Yeah, I'm glad we avoided that rugged <laughs> crap. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Yes. You're very funny. <laughs> oh, that joke was threadbare. Oh, all right, uh, I get it. Uh, uh, all right. I don't know if I can kill people after that. <laughs> Just carpet bomb all the puns up front. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Now that all the puns are aside, <clears throat> let's try to not get ourselves murdered. <laughs> because we heard voices, did we not? So... Yeah, let's go this way, then, instead of going the way of the voices. Hey, there might be something to that. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Let's, uh, let's head to the voices south. Yeah. How about yeah. anyone who can sneak, sneaks up to the voices? Oh, well then, dark, uh, dark good luck. Team. I think we all got dark vision. Oh, no, maybe? I don't know. I have not. Dragonborns don't have dark vision. Oh. I, yeah, because I can just light things on fire. <laughs> dark vision when you burn everything in your path. I found it very effective. All right. Mm -mm. So keep the march in order and head south. Around the pit. Nah. To are y'all like trying to be sneaky, or are you just marching? I think, I think we should try to be sneaky. I think an attempt should be made, even if it yeah. will fail. Who I, can, I can sneak forward a little bit. Uh, I have decent dish stuff. I know. I got like, a plus on. one. I have a plus two to stuff. What's our rogue? Are we sending uh, the rogue? Are we sending out the rogue a little bit more then, or are we all going? That's what I'm trying to figure out. How are y'all yeah. doing this? I have a seven to stealth. Oh, well, maybe you should go see scout it. <laughs> here, here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little help, and Thor's oh, okay. gonna walk up to the. Um, to the elf and um, do like a little bit of like a hand, like a hand <clears throat> like a, for his uh, for his god. It looks like flowers blooming, <laughs> um, and he casts guidance on her so she can to assist with her stealth check. Which I will ding right now. Hey, you can do the thing. There it is. If you are stealthing, I will need you to make appropriate stealth rolls from your character sheet. And so how would you add the d4 from the guidance? Yes. By Was that rolling, manually? and would then have... manually rolling a d4, okay. yeah. <clears throat> okay. You lied to us. You said there would be no manual math. <laughs> I never said no manual math. Each instance Ooh! that I found Very a way good. to avoid manual math i showed you that i found a way to avoid manual math <laughs> how do i roll the d4 extra type slash roll space 1d4 you could add plus 22 oh nice. okay <laughs> you stealthy you gone <clears throat> all right the night i don't think we ever had an elf in our party did we no okay we're fine Final answer. Yep. Stand by one second. I have to do things and stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> gotta stand here protecting the small one. Hey guys, what's Batman's favorite drink? Uh, You're gonna tell us, aren't you? Yeah, Just on, ice. Like, give it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> give us a chance. Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right, so. Alyssa starts sneaking forward, and she kind of rounds the corner, and as she does, she can see that the uh, room is opening up to the uh, the south there. Are the rest of y'all standing back and waiting, or are you trying to keep pace? I am. Good talk. I, I, yeah, I think Dorfin's trying to like, <clears throat> get to the corner and listen to make sure she doesn't get you know ambushed or anything. All right, so Alyssa, as you walk down the hallway, you will hear two people. Uh, they're speaking common. Uh, it sounds like they're playing a game of cards. Calm, <clears throat> calm down, hang on. Uh, but then you will hear a shout uh, from the other room. So the two people talking are that direction, and then a shout is from this direction. And give me just a second to do all these revealing crazy DM things that I have to do. The reveal. We were the bandits all along. 
<laughs> there is, in fact, more than just a chair in here. I mean, yeah, uh -huh. player characters. <laughs> the poker yeah. game. <laughs> hey, in the words of one of my player characters, it's it's heroics, not murder. Right. So you, you hear the two guys at the card table talking back and forth, but then you hear a third guy in the other room uh, yell back, Where did you put it? And then they have not yet seen you. So you have the two guys at the table there, and there is a voice coming from... Why is my ping not working? Because I'm dumb. There's a voice coming from in here, but you do not see yet. This door is open. <clears throat> it's open? It is, in fact, open. Mm. Mm. What do you They're do? playing cards. They are, in fact, playing cards, and they haven't noticed you. Rogal <laughs> strokes his beard. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, uh... Shh. Yeah. <laughs> Relay the information. Yes, there's a couple of guys playing cards. <laughs> one human, one dwarf. I could try to chat them up, <clears throat> and you guys can prepare to strike while they're talking to me if it turns south. What, hold some actions? In meta terms? <laughs> <laughs> what is holding an action? I have oh. not heard of such a thing. Like, hey, you guys, you want to play cards? Deal me yeah. in. It is true that uh, mm -hmm. I, I'd, I'd feel miss um, showing violence at the moment as technically they haven't done anything to us. Yeah. <laughs> I can try to talk to them and the moment they pull out their swords, I'll blast them with Eldritch Fire, or you guys will kill them all. That sits right with me. Yeah. Or you'll win a bunch of money playing cards. Yeah, in which case we can walk away happy and forget whatever we were sent here to do. Well, I don't we know must meet that. them with honor. <laughs> I know that there's a couple of folks in the party that are actually good at playing dice, but I don't know if any of y'all have cards. <clears throat> Not that you can't, I'm just saying that written into the background, <laughs> yeah. I think there's two characters that are actually decent at playing dice. <gasps> You should just well, challenge them to a game of dice. <laughs> did you bring dice? Yeah, I know you're playing cards, but let's do dice. Yeah. All right, I'm down for that. So uh, do you want us to get as close as possible or here and then uh, rush in if shit goes south? All right. Uh, yeah, go on up. All right. Same order as before? That sounded like a good fighting order. So, wait, so we're going in the same order as a whole group? I think we hold up. Do you want to hold up here, or do we, do you want us closer? You're going to be the one sticking your neck out to talk to these uh, individuals. How did that... Uh, sorry, I forgot what our rogue's name is. Alyssa. Can you Alyssa, did you see how many, uh, how, many there, how many there were and how much weapons they had? There were two guys at the table, and there was somebody else there yelling in a, a room over there. Did I see any weapons? Yeah. Each of them did have weapons. Uh, there was a couple of, like, daggers on the table, and the, the one guy who was sitting on the side of the table, on the east side of the table where you could have seen him, had short swords hanging from his belt. Well, they definitely don't have permits for those, <clears throat> so that's something right there. Yeah, yeah. I think they had an illegal cigar, too. Do you really think that they're supposed to be down here playing cards? Come on! Alright. <laughs> what, you want to just rush them then? No. Alright, hit them with honor. <clears throat> if you just warriors. stand, like, right... I don't know how to ping things, so I'm just going to move my token. Stand right here. And then you're going to walk in? If I you walk in. Click I think that's while you have the pointer uh, selected on that toolbar over on the left-hand side. If you just make sure that the mouse arrow is clicked, and then you just hold down, you will point. Oh, I see. Yeah, so <laughs> I can also you folk... <laughs> force your screens to move where I yeah, can. Yeah, done that. Mm, that's and... cool. Uh, all right. So why don't you move yourselves over here? Mm -hmm. I'll just stick my head around the corner, and if things go south, you'll be right there. Yeah. Well, what we can. Yeah. We'll. 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 How about this? We'll be behind these pillars right here, right? And we'll ready our action, so if shit goes south and you start running up here, the minute they come here, we'll just smack them. Alright. You hear the guy from the here. supply room yell, mm -hmm. Ah, I found it! 
Um, okay. Let's get moving. Mm. <laughs> There's gonna be free guys now. Hey, hey, if you, if you see any scrolls or books or anything that's <laughs> really, really old, don't don't cut them or do anything with them. Just leave them alone, okay? <laughs> that's all I'm asking. Alyssa, Alyssa. I, see, I see that you are backing me up, Alyssa. <laughs> yeah, I'm right here for you. <laughs> yeah, that's the definition of back up. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, I don't know, how far does the guy get before I get there? Good luck, go make good friends. Hey, howdy there, folk. So, right at about the time that you get there, he would have been coming through the door here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, he's going to hey. see you. Uh, the guys at the table would not have seen you immediately, but he's, he like, uh, bald-headed tattoo with the sweet hoop earring guy totally sees you and he's walking back with like a small wooden box that's uh like the top has been bright off and it appears to be like full of trail rations right now yeah. hey you howdy there and as soon as you start talking the other two like become aware that something is afoot <clears throat> uh, I, uh... He, the tattooed guy is kind of stunned like he doesn't he wasn't expecting a fucking dragon to come walking down the hallway all of a sudden <laughs> The two guys at the table, uh, the dwarf holds on to his cards and starts to reach towards, uh, he has a crossbow sitting on the ground near him. And the human kind of like starts to slide his chair back, but they're all waiting on you to like say more, basically. Um, so kind of been on a journey for a bit now and uh, needed a place to rest and I found this place and I figured... You know, maybe you guys can help out. I see you're playing cards. I wouldn't mind being dealt into your game if you have room for one more. You're you're coming from where? I don't, what's in your by area? Well, that were like Stonehaven was the town you came <clears throat> from. There's another okay. city to the south called Stravenport. Uh, I've come from south of Stravenport, but uh, you know, I missed the town on the way there, so that was supposed to be my rest stop and. Figured abandoned ruins would be a safer place to rest than, you know, in the middle of the woods. Make a perception check for me. Perception. Yo, boy. Mm -hmm. All right. So I just click on my perception. Also, who are you focused on here? Uh, are you looking at Mr. Tattoos and earrings, or are you watching the guys at the card table? Uh, mostly focused on Mr. Tattoo with earrings, and I got a 20. Okay, with your with your twenty, you will see that the dwarf is kind of trying to whisper slash head nod to sweet ass mutton chops guy down there. Wolverine. Wolverine. Oh, we're fucked. You don't. Oh, no. You don't. You don't hear what he says, but he kind of like he kind of you know shoots a whisper to that guy, and right. uh, tattoo guy is gonna be like, "No, I, I don't. I don't think you should be down here." And he, right. he clearly looks to the two guys at the table like, what am I supposed to do? And he, he, you see that he has swords on his belt as well, but he is he's clearly like he was sent to the other room to fetch something, and he doesn't know if right. he should be dropping shit to pull swords um, or... I'm going to start subtly moving backwards while still talking. Um, look, if you don't want me here, I get it. I'll just march. The... It's nighttime right now, right? No, it's like noon. Okay, look, I've been marching since yesterday morning. I'll go all the way to uh, Stonehaven, but uh, I would really appreciate the chance to rest and, you know, play a game of dice. I have not talked to people in so long. One second. He's lonely. He's so lonely. Oh, uh, so lonely. Okay, so, uh, tattoo guy. By the way, I'm... Yep. Go ahead. Holding my turns. As soon as any of them come into line of sight, I'm throwing a javelin. That's just holding my turn. Yep, I am doing super secret DM things. Should we all describe if we wanted to hold a turn, if we should do that? Yeah, go ahead and describe like your if-then if statements. Then. Okay. Uh, I have to. Ha holding a turn is only an action, right? So you can't move with it. Right. So. Okay. So I wouldn't have line on sight because I'm in the corner. So I guess my hold action will be 
Hmm, what be? If I see a bad guy, I shoot him. If there is hostility, I yeah. jump out and roar. If there is... Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> there's hostility, I jump. Can our gnome and, half and dwarf do that, please? <laughs> yeah, we just, what, we're gonna scream at him? <laughs> if I see y'all running, then I will hold for sleep. Ooh, see, that's mm. useful. <laughs> Uh, shame she used all her spell people. slots on the intro page. Oh, are you a pacifist? <laughs> are you a pacifist? Um, <clears throat> I'm a scholar. Ooh, I feel oh, like Indi sage. Indiana Jones was a scholar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. You know. It belongs in the museum, this. okay? I don't it know this in Indiana Jones you're talking about, but where I come from, mm -hmm. you don't kill for knowledge. You oh. die for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Garland, you'll see that the tattoo guy, since I didn't name any of my bandits, tattoo guy kind of like believes your story, but Mutton Chops dude is kind of not buying it, and he has slid his chair back and starting to stand up at this point. You. All right, look. You don't need to. You seem kind of fret. Look, you don't need to worry about anything. I'm unarmed. Uh, raise my hand like I'm not holding anything. I'll drop my daggers if you want me to. These are just small personal protection weapons. Don't need to panic. <laughs> uh, so I have hold actions from two of you. What what are the other two doing? Hmm. Krogal, as you start to come down, if you come down that far, he will see you as well, but I'm just keeping in mind what folks are doing. He cannot what see I... Thorfinn. Yes, yeah, so I don't have... I can't hold an action to attack somebody because I won't see them. Uh, so I guess I'll hold action to. Uh, I will. Die? I will allow a lean around the lean. corner. All right, so I'll lean in sacred flame a, a bandit if I see one. Oh, now you're just assuming Shit. in their bandits. That's right. Well, you know, I'm. Well, I got my. I got my. Hey, I got my prejudice. I live with that every day. <laughs> they were in our way. It's the crux that I have to bear. I work with it. And then I'm same for Alyssa, <laughs> you can uh, lean around the column if you need be. Okay, uh, well, hot lean stuff. around and shoot a bow. All right. Can I um, so, try to like go ahead, um, Garland. Get them mm -hmm. off guard by rolling a persuasion, and if it's good enough, like they're slightly off guard at the start if they do attack us. Uh, so the way that 5e works, you have what's called surprise. If one okay. group isn't expecting hostility from the other or doesn't see the other. Um, Got it. But everyone is currently aware of you and you are currently aware of them. Sure. So that doesn't apply. Uh, I might give surprise rounds to your yeah. friends in wait. That, that's what I'm trying to help. I'm trying nice. to get them. I don't plan on, I expect on being able to do anything surprising okay i don't expect you to do anything surprising i've played with you before <laughs> thanks bounty <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. all right but so the the dwarf will get up as well and at this point he's going to say no I, I don't think the boss would want him to get away and you're going to see that they start reaching for weapons <gasps> all right and so i'm going to need a... i'm going to just Run away is what I say, but yeah, what do you need? Yep. I'm gonna... <laughs> you say that. <laughs> uh, go ahead and everyone roll initiative. Oh, beautiful. All right. Uh, Krogal. We gotta click. Do we still got to click on tokens or no? Uh, we don't have to do that. Stand by. All right. No. Yeah, you do, but I can, I can manually add them. Oh, dang. I did pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna take my initiative. <laughs> yeah, I know. What'd you get? Ooh, hey, look at ooh. that! Nice first crit. Oh, yes. I got. Cool. That's pretty good too. Yes. For a so uh, I should have explained this before I asked, I guess. But <laughs> when you're rolling for initiative, if you click on your token, it'll automatically add it into the turn. Otherwise, it'll sometimes give you like a weird orange error text box. Uh, okay, but I'm gonna so I'm gonna add the folks that did not get in real quick because I failed at DM. No. no, I just clicked on my character sheet. There you go. Yeah, that's what I did. Same here. 
Yeah, it's a it's a weird thing that that doesn't just do that, but right. I'm in I'm in that part that I can't not talk in my character voice, and it's bad. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and I apologize, Bounty, because I did not know what you sounded like before I chose this voice. Oh, oh what are you trying to say? I got some kind of accent. <laughs> I'm just saying imitation is the highest form of flattery, I guess. <laughs> Except when it's mockery. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to do a Scottish accent. I'll be like, you know, I don't know, maybe from the West. <laughs> I'll be a Western dwarf. <laughs> I, I do appreciate folks that give dwarfs a different accent. Yeah. Than the, oh, I'm Scottish and I drink a bunch. Herder. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> hey, now, I can be whatever dwarf I want to be. It just so happens that this is the dwarf that every single person who plays dwarfs is. <laughs> Sounds so, like right for everybody. I've... Yeah. Yeah, sure. Did I get anyone wrong? I think... Nope. Group, yeah. Let's see those bandits. Hey. Mm. It's okay, we got some guys. Oh, dang. Oh, oh, okay, so we're gonna kill them all. Got mm, it. Yeah. <laughs> was Was that ever not... What was going to happen? I mean, death is possible. <laughs> I am well, starting with zero HP. Whoever's about to die, I'll just put you to sleep. And it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Yes. All right, so since I'm thinking of things I forgot to explain, uh, each of you underneath your chat box, there is a as and then your name. If you could swap that over to your character name, it'll make it much easier to remember that you are you and you are him and she is her. We and we are all together. Ah, you got me. <laughs> there we go. All right, so as the turn order comes around, uh, it's going to be Alyssa first. However, nothing has happened and there's nothing in your line of sight. So you, Alyssa, can opt to hold an action and stand behind the pillar. And if you see somebody shoot with a bow, or you could take a full turn and move and do something. Oh, hold action. Copy that. Y'all gonna murderize these guys. Darling, <laughs> it's your turn. Is anyone in ring? That's a very vague question. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're trying to do. I know what my range is. Anyone in sight? That's what I meant to say. Uh, you can kind of see this guy. Uh, depending on okay. what you're trying to do, he might have cover from the wall, but considering that Dragonborn have feet these days, they could move and then do Yeah, something. I was gonna say, these days, wait, there was a time, never mind, I'm not gonna ask. Um, yeah. <laughs> you might so, want to give behind the checkpoint, I mean the uh, choke point when you're done, too. Uh, but then again, I don't know you. I don't know Garland. You don't know Garland. Don't uh, know so, life. hold on, I need to check. Cool, I think I'm just gonna Eldritch Blast this guy. Okay. Um, oh, mama. mama. So, I just click on it. You should, in fact, just click on it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so, a 10 is going to miss. Yeah. If you had advantage, you would have made it. But I would have crit. Yeah. A, I would have crit. A 10 is going to miss. <laughs> so, you have well, moved five feet and you can continue up. moving. In uh, other editions, this is not a thing, but in 5th edition, you can move and then attack and then move, or you can... Oh, I did you, not know that. If you have, it's great. Yeah, if you have multiple attacks, like if you're dual wielding, you can move, attack, move, attack, and then still move oh, if you have any left. It's that's, pretty baller. That's sick. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Also, I noticed that you did not <clears> change to you your Only do character. a full action, and that's it. Right. <laughs> oh, by hey, the Garl. Way, Moraz, I dropped a handy flowchart in peanut gallery for you. There you go. Hey, hey, Garland, do you want to move up a little bit more? <laughs> Actually, I'm a, yeah, I'm like a little bit. That is, in fact, the correct flowchart. I think all warlocks can understand that. <laughs> Man, they get. <laughs> uh, Garland, change your name <laughs> underneath the chat box. <laughs> yeah, Krogal, I think that's what. Why do you think I was up to lasting? I, I feel like this flowchart is kind of inherent. You just inherited it. <laughs> uh, Garland, what's up, buddy? 40. Yeah, that's my fault. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, I uh, got a lot more initiative, you know. Sometimes you just gotta seize what you want. Just gotta seize the day. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so that's Garland's turn, and that brings us around to Sweet Ass Mutton Chops Man. Who is going to kick his chair out of the way, draw a pair of short swords, and kind of rush <coughs> towards where the retreating dragon cameth from, only to find a half Oh, Oh, sweet mutton chops. Held action. Held action. So he will kind of come around the corner and see that <clears throat> there are apparently two of you, and so he will rush forward to you, sir. Nice. You, in fact, uh, do javelin him for seven person damage. Yep. And would, when, would my hold action trigger, or no? Alyssa can fire. Thorfinn's going to be kind of dicey, but I'll right. allow it. Yeah, okay, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, let me count off one of my javelins. Unfortunately, a 13 will not hit, so an arrow will, you know, embed itself in the chair back there. So... Thorfinn, uh, you know, mutters a quick prayer, waves his hand as he, like, leans around the corner and, uh, <laughs> very in between the legs of some of these big folk, uh, casts Sacred Flame. So, I'm gonna need from the DM. Dex? Uh, Dex check, if I remember correct. Let me pop it. And two damage, if you don't well, save. Well, he crit, so, no, he, so. he does save. Yeah, no, <laughs> hold on, no. And then he will rush forward towards Krogal. Mm -hmm. And he is going to swing with one sword and then the other, sir. Your, your ancestors have no honor. What is your armor class? 14. So the first one is a 17, and he will hit you for 5 damage, but the second one will miss. Sounds good, sounds good. And it is now, uh, Thorfinn took his held action. So it will go down to the dwarf thug who is going to kind of round the corner, see that there is shit happening. Uh, he will crank back his crossbow and let loose a bolt towards our friendly neighborhood, Dragonborn. Boy. You got this, buddy. Nope. <laughs> you got this. Think happy thoughts. He's going to do four damage to you. Oh no. Because a I'm 20 hits you, I believe. Oh, no. no, I have 22 AC. <laughs> no. 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 All right. <laughs> oh. And it is Nim's turn. I mean, like, are y'all in danger? I just took half my health. The dragon has oh, a crossbow yeah. bolt sticking out of his chest. And there's yeah, somebody. I guess that does look semi serious, doesn't it? <sighs> Yeah, I'll do the spell. I was hoping to get more than one of them, but I guess I'll use it on y'all because I guess I don't want the big ones dying this early. Here we nope. Go. What are you doing? They're good old meat shields. I'm gonna do the sleeping spell. Nice. Oh. That works. And you're gonna cast it like <clears throat> kind of. The... So yeah. if you read how sleep works, you'll pick a point and then it kind of radiates out. What it does is it puts 5d8 of hit points to sleep, starting from the lowest hit points. Mm -hmm. So you would want to place it on the floor in a manner that does not put Mr. Crow Gall asleep. I'll rush ahead and well, go. You don't. Just you don't, you don't got to rush ahead. You can. You can do it from back there. Uh, okay. I just don't want to accidentally put any of the like friendly fire. You know. I think it has like a 90 foot range. Yeah, it says 90 feet. Yeah. yeah. So you just drop her kind of like here-ish, mm -hmm. and she will... Run, 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 drop it. Run, 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 run. You don't have to run. You can point. You're fucking magical. <laughs> you don't even have that much movement. Uh, but I want to scurry out there, drop it, and run. <laughs> so you rolled 26. So you put 26 hit points worth of people to sleep, starting from he with the lowest. Sweet, sweet sideburns taking it. Eternal nap. Sideburns like drops his swords, they clatter to the floor at the, the foot of the half orc, and then he slumps down. 
<laughs> and then <clears throat> the dwarf will also collapse. Crossbow kind of clatters on the floor next to him, but he does manage to keep his sweet ass hat on. <laughs> you do not hear any sound of or indication that the third guy fell asleep, though. All right. Mm. There is no honor in killing a sleeping foe. We, we don't even know if they're really foes. They shot me! I yeah. Uh, Krogal turns to Nim with his sucking chest wound and just kind of looks down at them. <laughs> Alright, so those two guys are asleep. Nim, is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? You can move up to 25 toe-tail feet. I think I'm good. I'll wait for the big guys to take care of what they think they gotta take care of. Right. So, uh, Nim's turn in. And it is the final bandit guy's turn. He will round the corner and he's gonna chuck a javelin at Monzor Krogal over his sleeping friend. Actually, you know try what? It. No, this this guy's an idiot. This guy isn't going to throw a javelin. He's going to run over to the dwarf and try to wake the dwarf up. So he will spend an action, <laughs> like, shaking the dwarf. And be like, Sork, what's the matter with you? And start shaking the dwarf. So the dwarf will wake up next turn. Look at the poor idiot. Just, like, bop him on the head. Well, I think an arrow in the ear is what he's going to get. And it is yeah. Alyssa's turn. <laughs> yeah. Arrow in the ear sounds about right. There you go. Uh -oh. Do do the to it. No. Oh, no. we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Another arrow in the chair. That damn chair. The chair made me mad. Okay. <laughs> do you want me. Do you want to step back behind your column or anything? You. At um, least we know it's not a mimic. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I, it's I, really committed. Yeah, maybe it's just a stupid mimic. <laughs> Uh, Garland. So it must be making bounty. <laughs> you have a sleeping guy on the other side of a half orc. You have a guy knelt down shaking a dwarf, and a dwarf who is kind of shaking off and wondering what's what's happening. Wait, it's doing that thing where it keeps uh, giving yeah. Garland forty initiative. Yeah, it keeps giving me forty. Okay, and, and Nim is up to twenty-seven. It's it's going all over. Uh, yeah, so there's time. one guy is awake. Do we know the dwarf is awake yet or not? Uh, you can't really see him because of the corner. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I am going to, if I move behind this pillar, I'm still able to hit Mr. Baldy, right? Uh, yeah, you can shoot through your friends. You can be like, get out of the way, and they can like right. head bob. So I'm uh. Do I think I don't want to do Eldritch Blast, but according to Griffin, <laughs> even if I don't I mean, want to. Oh, you hold see on. what the flowchart really says. Wanted. Yeah, I, according to the flowchart, I don't have a choice in this matter. Um, Here we go. Ooh. 21, I'm assuming, hits. The 21 does hit. 8 Ooh. force damage. He is still alive, but he does not look happy about that. You... you... <laughs> Took the wind out of him for sure. Nice big blast uh, of energy slams into him as he's trying to help his friend out. Uh, I don't feel sorry for them anymore. You know what they say? Friendship isn't magic, but Eldritch Blasts are. <laughs> mm. So, Mr. Ruffian 2, sweet ass mutton chops man, is asleep and it will go to Thorfinn. Alright. So Thorfinn's gonna step out. Uh, it's about here. And, uh, how, how rough does this bald boy look? Well, he would not <laughs> fare well against further Eldritch Blastery. He will not at that. Hmm, you know what? If Krogel's not gonna hit the sleeping floor, Thorfinn, uh, swings his, uh, hammer. Oh, wow! Oh. <laughs> oh, wow! Okay! <laughs> oh, my! That's a rough crew you run with. <laughs> So we have we have some. Hey, in the garden of life, there are weeds, and they need a plucking. <laughs> so wow. This was an exploratory expedition. <laughs> I was told dwarves have honor. 
<laughs> well, I guess somebody lied to all of us, huh? So, a 16? <clears throat> a 16 will in fact hit, and he will take 5. And now he's either dead or awake. He is... he's not dead. He's confused. <clears throat> and he, like... So he's dead asleep, and you just bring this down on him, and like right in the ribs, warhammer to the ribs, and he mm -hmm. like coughs up liquid, blood, spit, bile, whatever, and mm -hmm. like he doesn't know what the hell is happening. He ran bravely towards an orc, and now some dwarf is crushing his ribs, <laughs> and he is he's barely clinging to it at this point. All right, I think that's me. That's you, and that brings us to Krogal, who has a incapacitated the, guy at his feet. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a cur, I'm not going to take any part. I'm going to rage, step around this guy, and then leap at the bald man with my great axe. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so feel free to attack of opportunity, man. <clears throat> well, he has no weapons because he dropped them when he fell asleep. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Bite his ankle. <laughs> uh, let's see. In that case, I'm just gonna roll for my great axe. <clears throat> nice. Oh dang. Oh that guy. <laughs> okay. Forgot about barbarians. <laughs> <laughs> you also, forgot what I do. <laughs> also, you're raging, so you do two more damage. Yep, that's sixteen. Oh shoot. So did my Eldritch Blast even matter or is he one no, shot anyway? That that, that that would have one shot him. So <laughs> oh, no, your Eldritch Blast did not matter. As he dies, Krogal shouts out, Any child of yours would have the features of your greatest friend. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Nuanced. Good. <laughs> you no, know, that's actually a blessing if you've seen his face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So it is the dwarf's turn. Uh, unless you have anything else for me, Krogo. Uh, no. I'm. He can come at me if he dares. Right. Boy. Well, uh -huh. he he just got woke up. Uh, he he's got this raging half orc in his face now. So he decides that the crossbow is probably not the way to go. And he will uh he will take an axe. At, once he's stood up, he will take a uh an axe from his belt and swing at you with it. Despite All right. you've got him kind of cornered here. Except uh, this, for the whole area he can move into. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, you're between him and the door, so <laughs> hence yeah. cornered. Uh, does an 18 hit you, sir? That would indeed hit me, yes. Well, he would hit you for 7, but you are raging, so you will reduce that by half. Three then, because it always rounds down in this system, right? Correct. All right. So I am at six health. This Eight. is fine. This is fine. Why wow, y'all? You boys took a beating. Oh jeez, I wonder why. <laughs> it's not like I'm the frontline fighter. <laughs> yeah, no. it's, not like, it's not like we're tanking all the hits for you. <laughs> well, thank you. It's not like you're the only one with healing magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep me up. <laughs> Nim, it's your turn. That's my turn. Oh, yeah, it's not even my turn. Never mind. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> good good job. Guy. How easy you forget about murder. <laughs> Look, he was a cur. I don't remember curs. Oh, that sounds like a curse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so who's up? Nim. Um. Yeah. Um. Nim's gonna hold back, and uh, then she looks at the guy who just had his ribs crushed, and looks at the guy who just got killed. She's uh, gonna walk around all that slaughter, and she's gonna make her way over to that box that the guy dropped. It has <laughs> great. <laughs> it is a box Thank of five trail rations. With what? Five trail rations. <laughs> they were having dinner. We interrupted their dinner. You are Andrew Steele first. 
That mouth breathing into the mic, though, fam. You're killing me. Emerez. My bad. I moved it away. That's okay. good. <laughs> uh, they drew their steel on us first. You come down here, you see a dwarf. He's attacking an orc. You see a closet. It's full of boxes. Oh, look at all these boxes. I bet there's something useful in here. <laughs> there's also four, like, straw cots down in the bottom nook there, and their card table has... We can do we can do the math later. Yeah. <laughs> Please, our blood is up. Um, I mean, no. Actually, she she does the math all the time. <laughs> There's a card table. It's got four chairs. There's some cards. You know, two daggers stuff. There's also four a chair. Chairs. I move the chair out of the way. So it doesn't get shot. Out. <laughs> Move it out of the line of fire. It's seen too much. You poor chair. <laughs> what have they done to you? Uh, anything else? You didn't use an action. You just you walked down there. So as an action, you could pick up the trail rations or sure, I'll pick close up the, trail the door. Or... I don't know. I want to go through that door here in a minute. Okay. So you have a box of five trail rations. Ooh, yep. yay. Put them in my pack. Mm. Yummy, yummy hardtack. <laughs> Look, I've got priorities. It's called <laughs> munchies. Uh, hey. It's nothing good. Good priorities. Alyssa, it is your turn. Ahead of you, you have a dying man on the floor and a dead man on the floor. However, do note that if you are using a ranged weapon to shoot at an enemy who is laying prone, uh, you will be attacking with disadvantage. Which means you roll twice and take the lowest number. But you can get there no problem and do the stabbing, which will give you advantage. Who advantage? Mm hmm. Dabby. Oh, hey. Good thing, too. Yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Since I have advantage, I get it's an extra D6 of damage. Then. You do, oh, in you fact, sneak attack you him. sneak oh, attack boy. this guy. He had four life left, and you've killed yeah. him with a five, but you also <laughs> max damage <laughs> sneak <laughs> attacked him. So yeah, I rape for him. He didn't need to see that. He got snuck down, for sure. <laughs> <clears throat> It was a it was an elegant kill compared to the uh, Warhammer rib crushing that just happened to him. So yeah, just kind of take my rapier and just gently slide it into his heart and then back out. Oh, <laughs> it's a mercy kill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, that guy. Okay, oh, come on. <laughs> Garland. He's not the combatant here. <laughs> hey, you got the other one. Uh... Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. So... Garland. Garland. So, I see four chairs and four beds, but there's only three people. They must entertain a lot. I'm an Eldritch Blast, the last guy. <laughs> that flow chart works wonders. <laughs> so, he's, he's going to have cover unless you, unless unless you move. move. If you make the full 30 to here... Right. Uh, uh, cool. So, yeah, I mean, right now, he can't attack me without moving, which would provoke an attack of opportunity from my dear friend, Krogal, right? He can... So, I'm going to I'm gonna break something down for y'all real quick. It's going to take a dead bandit, though. <laughs> and Nim, because she's cool. All right, so, attacks of opportunity in 5th edition are a little bit different than Pathfinder and 4th edition. In 4th edition and Pathfinder, if you moved like that without taking a 5-foot step, that would have made the attack of opportunity. So if you moved around him, you left a threatened square attack of opportunity. Yeah. Not so much in 5e. In 5e, oh. as long as you do not leave their threatened range, they do not get to make that attack of opportunity. So his range being 5 feet means that you can yes. move here and be fine, you can move here and be fine, you could run laps around this guy and be fine, but the moment that you step back here, he would attack you. Got it. 
Uh, Unless you fun. take, there is an action you can do that is called disengage. So instead of attacking this turn, you would use the disengage action, and you would spend your turn running away. Got it. Uh, and I'm assuming if I'm here, he still has cover. Um, uh, nah. I mean, all right. I mean, it doesn't matter. He can still make it there, but I'm still gonna do it from here. Um, for the illusion of safety. <laughs> the disillusion of safety. I'm assuming 11 will not hit. Sorry. Bounty. It hadn't showed up on my end yet. Okay. 11 does not hit him. He has 14 armor class. Okay. Hey, Krogal, you want to kill him? <laughs> I have a line prepared. Uh, Thorfinn's turn. Thorfinn's going to get right next to... Uh the guy and uh as he, you know he's gonna go for his uh the back of his leg so that it'll set up a good shot for krogel for <laughs> the coup de gras as it were as it were as it has always been here we go 16 hits and six oh. damage look at that so little tap tap on the back of his leg little tap tap with a warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, maybe not so little. Anything uh, else? I believe Orcs called it a green. I believe that was my full movement, and then I don't have any available. Well, I could do a bonus action spell, but I'm going to save it. So Okie I'm dokie. Crow go. Great axe. Oh boy. <laughs> you <laughs> murder him into the ground. Oh my so, gosh. I. This is a dwarf, right? It is, in fact, a dwarf. Mm-hmm. As... So, looking down at him, Krogal says, It is known dwarves have love of names. From henceforth, you are known as Crow's Feast. And I slam my great axe into his neck. <clears throat> he seems confused about your monologue, <laughs> and then he seems dead. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you said he seems dead? Can I roll an insight on that? <laughs> sure. Appreciate roll it. Roll an insight on his spilled entrails. Oh, I hope I crit for this. If you crit, you should come up for Seems dead. All right. So, Nim is leaning against the wall, l looking away. Yeah, eyes averted. Uh, this is. You see a storage room full of boxes and barrels. And ringing cell phones. <laughs> what is this magical music box? <laughs> it is a piece of glass which you talk into, and it is heard on the other side. Witchcraft. Got Witchcraft. It. All right, so y'all are out of combat and able to move around as you deem right, appropriate. Perfect. All right, who's hurt? Come over here. Let me see how bad you are. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> Krogal goes Prints over. into the boxes. <laughs> Come on. Curious about these two. I've only taken four damage, but that's like <clears throat> most of my health. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna can I, try to do medicine checks on them to establish how. Uh... No, you are you are aware that the dragonborn appears to be shot with a crossbow, and the other guy right. appears to have been stabbed. Much time. <laughs> all right, all right. Um... If you need somebody to collaborate that story, you uh, <laughs> you have witnesses. What do we got? Yeah, exactly. I need a. I need a. What's your professional ahead. medical opinion on this situation? Well, if I, if we treat it quickly, you won't get gangrene in the rot, so that's good. <laughs> uh, and he looks over at the half orc and like down. You've been through this before, so you know what to do. My <laughs> and, uh, scars have scars. Fantastic. That's gonna be great when you're older for your freaking arthritis. Anyway, I have no intention to become <laughs> old. Sure. Not surprising. Uh, Thorfinn's gonna put a hand on uh, the orc and cast. Uh, Say cure wounds, I guess. Oh uh, yeah, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want me to just la leave them to scar up nice? This, uh, is, this is my bread and butter. <laughs> For Nim and Alyssa. In... So he'll heal seven <clears throat> hit points. Oh, man, I rolled Sweet. shit. I rolled a one. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, so, but you get seven. I'm almost to full health, but it's fine. Okay. Wait. And then he looks. Then he looks at the dry, at the cliff. <laughs> All right, you're at half hit points. I'll I'll hit you up too. I'll 
stumble. I thought I had done the away. thing where it automatically adds cleric of life shit, but I guess not. That's all right. I got the mods in my head. I can't believe they're old. God damn. Right, level anyway. one plus thirty wisdom plus spell level. Mm-hmm. Mm. Eh, whatever. Uh, I'll figure it out afterwards. Um, I had wrote in scripts for not only that, but on Alyssa's character sheet, uh, every time you attack with a thing, you will notice it asks you if you are getting a sneak attack, and if you hit oh, yes, cool. it will automatically roll it for you. Yeah. Uh, for Nam and Alyssa, as you begin to poke around in the closet of mystery, <laughs> uh, you will see that there are boxes and barrels and stuff like that. Do you open any of them? Oh, that's always the question. Do we open the box? Um, what's in the what's box? What's in the box? Yes, yeah, I'll open a box. box. I've learned bad lessons from opening random boxes. I haven't yet. I'll open the box. To the north, you will also see like a thick curtain across the hallway, like basically a blanket hung up to seal the hallway off. It mm. it's two, so it splits in the middle. It's not an, a, a <clears throat> real door. It's a makeshift curtain. Uh, for anyone opening the boxes and barrels, you will see that it's mostly like dried goods, beans, salted meat, other trail rations. There does appear to be uh, a couple of random knickknacks, like almost as if they had stolen some stuff from a caravan that seemed to be carrying uh, like crowbars. There's like two crowbars, we'll say like a shovel and a couple of pickaxes. <laughs> Uh, I th I'm guessing, I know the question, the answer, when the voice that we were hearing when you said there's something on the right, that's the black guy, right? Because I imagine this is just like a loop or whatever. You this connects. cut out, all I heard was the voice, bald guy, so Oh, yes. sorry. <clears throat> yeah, this connects. Right, because we heard a voice from over here, so I'm assuming that was just the bald guy. Or there's another part the of the... The bald guy shouting was coming from, like, yeah. you were hearing it down this hallway, coming oh. from the storage room. So did we hear something coming from here when we first got in, or no? You heard yeah. different voices coming from east. Very interesting. All right. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. We heard the voices up there. Um, I can ping it. Yeah. All right. So while they're, I'm not the best searcher. Uh, so while they're looking, uh, Thorfinn's kind of going to go back and he's going to take an ear out and listen, see if uh, he hears anything uh, down the halls. I'm asking Krogal if he wants to play a game of cards. <laughs> I am um, going to play with you while feasting on the on the dine of my enemies. <laughs> Perfect. Um, um, while they start playing cards, are there any pa pieces of paper or anything that would indicate any letters uh, between individuals? No. no. There's like okay. Uh, there's a full deck of cards on the table. There are two daggers. Like I said, nothing fancy, just iron daggers. There is like an empty wooden tankard uh, and then some assorted change. We'll say like five gold, four silver, and a handful of copper. Fourteen copper. Play for it. I'm going to raid the storehouse and just start stuffing my pockets full of ration and jerky. Okay. <laughs> uh, since you mentioned this double curtain thing, mm -hmm. Nymph is going to walk up to it and kind of peek through it, trying to not move it while she looks. You see a very unintimidating wall. Ooh, wow. <laughs> you know what walls are for barbarians, right? Doors to be. Mm. <laughs> uh... is, does Thorfinn hear anything coming from the other halls while they're doing the loon, or is it there too loud? Uh, your party's making a bit of a ruckus. They're not, like, overtly loud, but you do hear uh, banging, like, shovel on stone, uh, and then an occasional shout or... Uh, <laughs> you, you do hear voices, yeah. It's too far off for you to, like, make out any words, but you do hear distant noises. All right. So Thorfinn's going to walk down and uh, go over to, I guess, the card game. Hey, I still hear voices coming down from uh, that, uh, what, the corridor to the left when we came in? Then you will hear the noises as well, as previously described. 
Are these beds over here? Yes. Let's take a long rest, guys. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta lay down. Someone tells me that ain't the best idea. Um, oh, just for a minute. They're like makeshift cots. Hmm. Kind of hard, but... You know, with straw and then like a, a rough sheet kind of t pull over it. Thorfinn hears your conversation, <laughs> Garland, and pulls out a crossbow and puts it on the table. You can use mine. <laughs> I'm treating that as cannon. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, thanks. We'll take yours as well. Uh, now there's two crossbows in this spot. Perfect. Perfect. Because God knows I couldn't hit the fucking rice that and burn. <laughs> Do I have any fish? Mm hmm. Go fish. You got any griffins? Rogal stands up, pulls out a rod, and leaves the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, Krogal, come back. I need your axe. Doop a doop a doop a doop. Doop a doop. Doop a doop. Doop a doop. You guys are too loud. I can't sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's something over here. Doop a doop a doop. over here, Jim. <laughs> Doop, 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 oh my doop, god, doop, everybody's doop. moving. <laughs> um, All right. Okay. Garland's with me. You're my buddy. Are we, are we not going this way? Or are we going this way? I don't know. I hear We're looking for a pool to go fishing. I heard voices coming from the right, but if we want to see what's the left yeah. first, that's fine by me. Yes, it's over here. Right. Yes, we're going <laughs> Well, hold on now, because we're not going to go right and left. Stand by for the exposition. Exposition. <laughs> All right, so anyone who is looking left, west, for those of you playing the Cardinal game, uh, on the west end of the hallway, there is a set of double doors, and unlike the wooden doors into the supply room or the wooden door at the top of the <clears throat> stairs near Miss Alyssa, uh, these are like beaten copper with uh, iron inlays around them, and they're it's it's a set of double doors, so they both open uh, towards you and would lay against the walls. You assume once they open, uh, there's no like set symbol. They just have a fancy kind of stylized iron bands over to them. There is also, as you can see, a hallway headed north. Uh, you don't hear anything from that hallway. For the eastern hallway, there is a single wooden door which is currently open and it leads down a set of wooden stairs. All right, well, if this is going to another floor, let's just clear this one first before we decide to maybe leave anything behind us. Yeah. I will give you like, like this much. You can see that it opens up into a room and then there's light in that room and it appears to be where the uh, voices mm -hmm. and noise is coming from. You will also note that there's like rubble on the floor here-ish. All right. Guys, they're tearing up the tower. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like they're digging for some Destruction of uh, historical property. property. Yes, 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 that's what it is. Who this goes there? Significant <laughs> historical property. <laughs> I don't know if you can call it uh, significant by the stonework in this place. This place can't be. Hold on. <clears throat> oh god! Using that actual <laughs> ability <laughs> to talk about rocks. Oh, oh, that's right. You do. So. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. So oh, that's okay. hold on. So that's a nine plus. Four, so thirteen. <laughs> hmm, that's blood. It seems to be. It's not up to you know dwarven build code. <clears throat> Looks like maybe <clears throat> some humans did this, and <laughs> they, they probably did it a really long time ago. Your your fourteen's not good enough to know like mm -hmm. exactly when, but a couple hundred years. Yeah. So he says, I don't know. It's it's ugh, yeah. It's a couple centuries old. So for humans, it's pretty good, I guess. Uh, yeah, exactly. Krogal and Garland, you see a room to the north, and oh, you will see a door, yep. you will see two doors, you will see blood on the floor, and as you move further north, I have 
Get Where are you going? Get back here. <laughs> Another door for you. So do you guys do you guys want to head on, or do you want to go back and catch the uh, the other two? No, let them go off and kill themselves. <laughs> Don't you know? You always split the party. Yeah, oh, that's always boy. a good idea, right? Oh god. Almost never, but all right. <laughs> well, the big guys right. go over there, over there, right? I'm just gonna hide over here. Good luck, Krogal. Y'all can see all the doors, right? Yeah. yeah, I don't think so. It's hard for me to tell where the actual reveal is. There's I'm going to hold action here. dodge as I open this door. <laughs> I am going to hold action eldritch blast. The door? Oh, Gotta love that flow chart. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have other spells? Oh, wait, what if I mage hand the door open and we just both stand really far Ooh. away? You're right. <laughs> Do it. You were All right. Hold right. <laughs> okay. action javelin instead. Uh, I may hand the door open. All right. So the the like hulking half orc covered in scars pulls out a javelin. He gets ready. The massive dragon readies a magical spell and summons like a, a glowing magical hand, which moves forward and you know pushes the door open. And they both lean around and get ready. And it's a fucking closet. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's do it. Perfect. Let's do it to every room. I don't care Perfect. what's in this closet. Same strategy. <laughs> They're cantrips. I can do this every time. Is anyone else doing anything? Oh, oh my God. I'm going to sneak downstairs and see if yeah. I can find out what's down here. Oh my God. Yeah. Let me, yeah. Let me zoom out for, for how far apart the fucking party is. <laughs> All right, since Garland and Grogal, you just spent, I would assume, roughly a minute doing that. We will uh, we'll let these three figure out what they're doing with life. All right, if you're going ahead, if you're going to scout again, Thorfinn's going to, uh, once again, give you a bit of a blessing. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Check. Not bless, mind you. More like guidance. And you can choose to use that, so if you feel you don't need it on your stealth check, but you want it on perception you get to hold it for like a minute right mm -hmm. mm. maybe i'll hold, i think 19 is pretty good maybe i'll hold it i go down what is your passive perception Alyssa? uh let's see uh, 15 <laughs> small folks do i didn't want to <clears throat> stay on the bottom of the steps in case i need to run <laughs> yeah, run over to your friends uh, Colgar and Garland. <laughs> yeah, the big ones. Yeah. Hey, we're being sneaky, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. Sure. A stealth check. <laughs> Thor yeah, like blasting you. doors open. <laughs> hey, we're magic handing them open. It's different. Mm -hmm. At least none of us are in heavy armor. <laughs> I am. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> is this a door at the end, or is it just more hallway? Uh, who's asking where? Alyssa. Okay, where, where are you asking? Uh, where the light is. Is that a door, okay. or? Stand by. I got some things to reveal, and y'all just figured something out. So, you will see <clears throat> the hallway continues. Uh probably 15, 20 more feet before opening into a, a larger room. Uh, once in that room, that's the room that's lit up right now and where you hear the voices and stuff coming from. But the floor only continues for about 20 feet and then it seems to like fall off. Like the floor has been dug up and there's uh, like a wooden board coming up from a lower level ramped up to the floor that you're on. So you can't see how deep the hole is but you can see that all of a sudden the flagstones just kind of drop off and the there's dirt like walls on the far side way down I can't ping because I have the wrong tool selected uh, you can see that once the, the actual flagstone walls stop where the floor would be there's mm -hmm. a dirt wall f further down where they've done digging you oh. will note that here in the hallway, there appears to be a hole punched through the wall, and there is a a cavern, a cave, a <clears throat> tunnel, something. Uh, and there's like two or three 
boards like nailed up in place over it with a sign that says keep out. Do we still hear the talking? What? Do we still hear that anybody talking down here? Yes, you do. You hear uh, an argument coming from this way. Let Man. me let me catch up on what the written chat's going on over here. <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> Mr. Thorfinn, sir, you are one of them super awesome dwarfs that knows things, and you realize that there is a secret door there, Ooh. right next to Miss Alyssa. No. Alyssa, and for anyone else listening to the argument, you will hear two voices yelling back and forth, <laughs> and one of them saying, it's been three days and we haven't found shit. And then the other one yells, well, the boss said dig until we do, so we dig until we do. And it continues thus forth. All right. Looks like we found uh, a couple more people, bandits. How do you want to play it? I say we try to avoid them. Let them continue digging. They're not harming anyone. Yeah, but if they uh, stop digging and they come looking, they're going to try to harm us. Well, but then they would have found whatever they're looking for. And then the two big lugs that we brought with us can take care of them. <laughs> you yeah. look around and you don't see the big lugs. <laughs> oh, where did oh, they yeah. get off to now? I'm sure they're still playing cards or something. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. So do you want to head on to this cavern then? Or do you want to... I'm game. Oh. Or do you want to tell them what we found? What's in, yeah, what's in here? I'm going to walk over to the board. Indeed, why would they dig down? <clears throat> well, they're looking for something, aren't they? Y'all both have dark vision, correct? Mm-hmm. We're all looking into the hole. Don't push anybody. Yeah, I'm keeping careful. So, like it's I said, like the tall elf with the two short people <laughs> like on the sides. <laughs> uh, in. It's, it's only like three boards, just enough to keep a human or a humanoid from going in there. The gnome could probably squeeze through the boards pretty easy. The dwarf, considering you're assortment of clothing um, and accessories yeah, might no might run into some issues but they're not they're not like super well put up there they're just tacked in place so you wouldn't have to break through the boards you could just pull them out of the flagstone walls through the boards you will see a completely dark there is no light coming in from in here 10 foot wide tunnel that goes for about 20 feet before opening both east and west and then you should be able to see the wall on the far end like you see the wall straight ahead there were some crowbars in the storage room i mean i could just take my hammer to it but oh, yeah. you don't want to destroy your weapon if there's the right <laughs> yeah, tools yeah. for the right job exactly. this, this hammer is more than just killing it can uh it could take the board out it's for doing honest work well, if you want all right i guess let's put it on <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, Thorfinn's going to try to uh, nagle the boards out of the way uh, using his Warhammer, which are doubles you like, you... as a blacksmith tool, because I'm proficient in blacksmithing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they're, they're nailed from your side. <clears throat> so somebody yeah. standing where you're at nailed them into the uh, the flagstone walls. Are you, like reaching your hammer through and hitting the back of the boards to knock them out or are you just like trying to break through the boards themselves what's what's your yeah, actual plan I think plan? I'm trying to I'm trying to put the uh, war cuz you said there's a lot of, there's some space in between them yeah, right plenty so I'm of putting space. Yeah so I'm putting the war hammer in and then leveraging it from the other side like a wench Yeah that would probably make less noise than bashing through it and make them mm -hmm. the yeah. yeah so again uh, if you've ever tried to nail something into stone or other material that kind of cracks it's not super it's not like it was nailed into wood and you have to put some effort once you start tapping out it the boards mm -hmm. come out pretty easily so you can take down all three boards and set them aside right. or two now, of them and duck under the third or whatever yeah so i get the boards out of the way but as he does so as he's tapping he's like tap tap now tap 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 have we start to we haven't really stopped to think tap 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 uh why it says keep out tap 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 why do you suppose that? How loud are you talking? 
trying to keep a whisper, but you know, not the I ain't I ain't the stealthiest sort. <laughs> Shh, don't be too loud. Oh, sorry. Just around the corner. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. So, what do you think they were trying to keep out, huh? Probably people like us. Well, if keep people like this, they just shoot. They won't need a sign. Ain't stopping us, is it? I don't know. Maybe they're polite. I'm thinking it's for them. These boys aren't keeping anything out, really. Yeah, that's true. I guess it couldn't be anything too dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, they'd put something up better than this tacky boards. You're right. You're right. All right. Get the boards out of the way. All right. Mm -hmm. You want to go on ahead? If you uh, need a little guidance, I can get you. I, I can make my way. All right. And we'll call that about a minute of activity and go back to the air <clears throat> quotes self-titled fun half of the group. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, we are the good half. So. Those two guys. So, so on the other side of the dungeon, unbeknownst to you, three stealthy people have gracefully entered a dark cavern. Y'all forcibly the the... attacked a closet. So. <laughs> we are now about to forcibly attack this other door with the exact same tactic of readying our actions and then magic. <laughs> I like to imagine that as when it comes back, the Balkan Skull theme song begins to play. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so yeah. I think it's Yakety Sex, but go on. That, that's also good. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is the plan? We're, we're mage handing this again? Yeah, mage handing. <clears throat> you ready your javelin. I ready my Eldritch yep. Blast. Ready action javelin. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> what, are we, what happens? <clears throat> you. Mage hand open that door like a mage hand opens a door, and uh, you see this room. Oh, boy. oh okay. Well, no one to attack <laughs> because stand, they're stand already by. dead. There, there's more things coming. There's like there's layers. Definitely, <laughs> there's definitely like layers Six upon things. layers. <laughs> Where does it end? There is a half orc standing. What? <laughs> Calm down. My brother. There is a half orc oh, no. with a sweet bandana do rag thing going on, standing Dude, over so the cool. mangled corpse of a humanoid who is bleeding out on a wooden table. Bleeding out, so it's still alive. Oh, jeez. I want um, to yell in orcish. I thought you were throwing a javelin. No. <laughs> that, Wait, is that, that a difference? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fairly certain the general orcish greeting is to stab someone with your axe. <laughs> That's true. Turns to the left. <laughs> the right. You know what? Hmm. No, I'm technically chaotic good. I won't kill the humanoid on the table. <laughs> the humanoid on the table looks quite dead. The orc oh. looks... Or the half In that orc case, I'll throw it looks just to show like, quite hey, alive. I'm tough. Okay, so make an attack roll with surprise. <clears throat> or, well, y'all have surprise, so make an attack roll, and he won't well, get to I'm attack. I'm not attacking the... the orc, I'm attacking the dead thing. Oh. I'm attacking the orc. What? How dare you? <laughs> so, <laughs> you burst open the door and you fling a javelin at a dead guy. <laughs> which wow. doesn't hit the dead guy, it like stabs awkwardly, you know that like javelin arrow noise thung, and, the, and the vibrate it like hits right, be right between his legs and sticks up yep. out of the table <laughs> awkwardly like right in front of this half orc who like hey, old is friend. bewildered about all of this uh, Garland <clears throat> oh, yeah. shoot him <laughs> so I, I hear uh, Krogal yeah, doing his hail thing but is Garland doing anything simultaneous to the javelin wing how did the orc respond to the javelin oh I guess simultaneous to the javelin no I'm gonna wait for the orc's response but I'm holding my eldritch blast <clears throat> hmm interesting so he responded as if you were standing there at a table minding your own business and then somebody threw a javelin into that table Use your imaginations. It's a role-playing game. <laughs> he he roared in Orcus by throwing the, Krogal. The, the wall that Krogar is hiding behind is now covered <clears throat> in like a hundred arrows. <laughs> as the orc ah, yes. wars and He's arrows so just materialize. <laughs> yes. um. What did you say, Krogal? Hey, I am Krogal of the mountain. 
<laughs> so he he kind of like shakes his head, gathers his like, what the shit is happening here? And he raises his hand and you can see that he has uh, like a big ass butcher's knife in one hand. Like he was about to start hacking on this guy. And he goes, what mountain? The mountain. <laughs> You'll also <laughs> note that there's a passageway that way. I didn't explicitly say that. Yeah. What brings you here? This guy is just, he's stunned. He, he doesn't understand what or how or why or how you got past the guards at the front door or, you know, what a half orc and a dragon are doing here or why it doesn't seem like you have any friends. You know, there's just so many questions right now, but he's... Do you have a tribe? Uh, he's going to say... I don't know, first thing I thought that, he was doing that. That, that, <laughs> was, that was weird, I'm sorry. I thought That's that was okay. a bit. Yeah. Nope. I thought this was a really timid half-orc. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Do not worry. You will join my clan. So, he's just I gonna... Say that. When he looks up and readies his knife, he's just gonna say, Who sent you? Krogal looks over at Garland and like, Who did send? Oh yeah, Orcish. Did he say that in common or Orcish? He he's gonna respond to recognizing you as a half orc. He's gonna respond to you in Orcish. Were you talking to him in Orcish? I was yelling in Orcish. Well, this is an Orcish conversation. Ah, uh, I look at Garland and realize probably doesn't know Orcish. I turn back. I was sent. Kind of pauses and begins to think about it for a little while. I came with companions. <laughs> Our... I like how that didn't give him an answer, but gave him information. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just sitting here, hey, an orc isn't attacking us. Somehow this orc has charisma. Yeah, right. Uh, he's going to ask, are you working for Blackmore? I uh, no no Blackmore. He is is he your enemy? <laughs> Jeez. Are you Jesus. let me let me make a roll for this guy real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Because orcs, you know. Bloodlust. I mean, I'm a barbarian. He can try if he wants. <laughs> You're a barbarian with a back pocket warlock. <laughs> The best kind of warlock. Wow, he fucking crit an insight roll. Good job, guy. Oh, God. oh no. Because <laughs> he's, he's a chef, so he's not stupid. Yeah, Wait, right. Were we... <laughs> Yikes. Were we sent by Blackmore? I don't know. You were not. You've never heard the name Blackmore before. That Man, sounds right. Blackmore is the uh, leader of the bandits, probably. But uh, maybe, I don't know. Seeing your confusion upon not recognizing the name Blackmore, he's going to roar out guards and begin to oh, rush towards you so my held elder blast action sure you're gonna need <laughs> all the help you can get you. since the party's not here right <laughs> i imagine the noise of this carries yeah, yeah. i don't think it carries that far yeah yeah, yeah we're on our own yeah or you That's could fine. run or you could run yeah. I still have hit yeah, I'm a rage. Dear you... God, I've not rolled like higher than a six on my attack. <laughs> Depressing. Don't worry, just stay behind me. <laughs> I will. You better stand in this goddamn doorway. So that's gonna miss, and I'm gonna need initiative from the three involved wait for party. You to set up the initiative thing. Yeah, one second. Um. So if we just go to my character sheet, it should automatically add us to that. Should yes. Okay. Uh, there used to be a thing where you had to have the tokens elected, but figured out. I think that's still a thing. Yeah, that might be still a thing. It didn't work for me. Hmm. You can, Garland. If we if we don't make it, I want you to know it was an honor. But by the way, I want you to know I did have a two. 
How dare you? I'll kill you myself. <laughs> um, We're going to need two new party members kingdom. soon. Oh, God. That's great. I will burn my kingdom down to catch you in the flames. Yeah. We'll, find, we'll find two prisoners. In the right. next <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. We can recruit them. Uh, They'll have higher intelligence. Yes. <laughs> Their <laughs> names are Krogon and Garlo. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Garlal and Krogan. Krogan, yes. I need an initiative roll, sir. Oh, uh, you have it up, okay. Boink. Wait, hey, uh, matches. Why is it not matches? fucking working? <clears throat> we're, we're, we're special. PCs are special. I don't, I don't get Yay. what's going on with the initiative. We're twins. Tracker. I'll have to yes. attack oh, my roll 20 at another. I have 6 HP, please protect me. We really are best friends. <laughs> Who has the higher decks? Mine is a solid plus one. Plus one. <laughs> <laughs> you, play, you guys gotta play cards for it. Alright, hold on. Orc, one second. We have to play a game of poker. <laughs> uh, I have a... I have a two of a kind... I have a full house. I have three ladies. Alright, cool. I'm going first. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds right to me. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do a round of combat, and then we're going to go to the people exploring the whole of mystery, and then we'll do a round of combat, and then we'll go back. So, cool. first round of combat, he yells guards and he charges at you. You fool. Uh, does a 13 hit you, Garland? Yes, it does. Oh, I was hoping he would stay many. Yeah, I was hoping that too. <laughs> Go ahead and take six slashing damage, sir. All right, oh. I'm out. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Buddy. I'm out. Peace. Well, well, well the cleric well. refused to heal me, so I'm out. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. You're lucky I'm honorable or I would leave you here. Krogal. Yeah? It's your turn. All right. That happened. Uh huh. It did. Well, so what what happens in the uh, 5e when you go to zero HP? All right. So 5e has a slightly different way of handling things. When you go to zero, you do not go into uh, the negative, so to speak. So you you don't have to sit here and tally up. I'm at negative three. Then he attacked me again. I'm at negative five. The way right. dying works is you die outright if you get to negative your positive HP. So right. you have nine hit points, I'm guessing. If you went to negative nine in an attack, you would die outright. Currently, Got you it. are at zero hit points, and every turn you will make a death saving throw for me. Okay. Is zero supposed to be stable? Well, he's not been stabilized because he just got stabbed. If somebody came over and stabilized him with a medicine check, or he had an ability that stabilized him at zero, he would then be stable. Right now, he is not stable. Oh, oh yeah, just remember something. I'm not going to spend that rage. It's fine. I can save it. Okay. So for clarification right. on that, Krogal could come and uh, uh, do a check to try and stabilize you as needed while... Yeah, what I see is it's a DC-10 medicine to stabilize. Yes. You, okay. Garland, on your character sheet, you will have death saving throws. All of your turns <clears throat> from now on, until you are stabilized, will be to make a death saving throw. There's three strikes, both positive and negative. If you get three negative strikes, you bleed out and die. If you roll a one, you get two strikes against you. If you roll a 20, you gain one hit point and become conscious. Got it. So you're saying there's a chance. There is. <laughs> it's not your turn yet. <laughs> we, we we established that I won a poker, so I went okay. first. <laughs> okay, so you make one death save, and it is now Krogal's turn. Alright. I'm going to rage and hit it with my great axe. Oh. Does it hit? That's a good damn question. 13. No, it does not seven. hit. Oh, damn. Don't worry, brother. We shall be together again. <laughs> yeah. That's what he thinks he says. What he actually says is... <laughs> 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 
I mean, it's orcish, you know. <laughs> All right, so orc rushes down, murderizes the dragon. Dragon falls down, but at least he didn't bleed out, right? And Krogal swings at him, but due to the door frame, we'll say, uh, takes a little more effort. What do you think, guys? Should you have heard the call for guards? To roll perception? Sure. Everyone can roll perceptions just, you know, for divine guidance. <laughs> My god taps me on the shoulder. Hey, buddy. They you wanted kinda... over there. Yeah. <laughs> missing. Nope. I don't hear them. <laughs> right. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and reveal. So y'all would Good job, Mary. Uh, so y'all will have seen more hallway when uh, right, right. Legolas here with her elven ears hears the shout in the background <laughs> with that okay. amazing 24 perception. Yeah. Hey, did you guys hear that? What? Nope. Somebody's uh -oh. yelling. I heard you. Are you oh. sure? Yeah, I thought so. Where'd you hear it from? Uh, direction the two fools went. Oh, do you think they're all right? Yeah, probably, right? Hmm. It'll take three turns of dashing to get there with 30 movement. Hmm. So what, you're saying you think they can handle themselves? <laughs> they're big, right? I mean, I they can punch can, things, but I you think. have no choice. Yeah, they're big. <laughs> what are those they're other pre-gens you made? <laughs> All right. What do you think, Nim? <laughs> as much as this cave is interesting. Uh, I worry that they might have... Let's just go get them. We we'll probably need them to move something. What kind of yell did you say? Was it like a like a fun yell or like a battle yell? Uh... It was a deep, orcish voice that simply rang out a single word of guards. Oh, <laughs> okay, Wait, yeah. Are we the guards? No, we're definitely not the guards. Wait. I didn't think so. Oh, that's probably somebody else. Oh, yes, so they weren't we asking for us go. then, right? Then, All right. The, yeah, let's let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> Connection made. Let's run. Screw it. Uh, <laughs> I get to hear. I'm a stubby. Alyssa, you're going to get there way before me or... Uh... Uh -huh. <laughs> We're going to need you, Alyssa, to get here as fast as your elf legs can carry is you. Daesh, is that double? Yeah, so, see. when you take the dash action, you can move double your speed. So, Alyssa, you can move 70. Seven. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get that way I'm going to need us. initiative from the other three just as a general concept yep. of when things are happening. It's going to be bad. Yeah. Hopefully the initiative tracker thing starts working. I don't know what's happening. There it is. There you got to click your worry. token. You got to click your token before you do. I have a plan. <laughs> I think you're going to be on my tail, Nim, for most of this. Yeah, I can only move 50 <clears throat> max. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, right. that'll take like three or four turns of solid dashing. It'll take me four turns to get to his body, but on that fourth turn, I can heal him. Uh, what happens if I succeed three death saving throws? You stabilize. Yeah, you don't get back up. Nim, can I get your uh, initiative, please? Uh, yes, sorry. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, Thorfinn is not dexterous by <laughs> any means. Of I see that minus one. Yeah, no. <laughs> Takes the time. I have a plan. <laughs> Does it involve waking me up so I can follow the flow chart again? No. <laughs> Alyssa, you could get right here. 20 to there. And then 50. Oh, remember there. the rug, guys. I, I didn't calculate that. That allowed a lot. Oh, look at you metagaming. Listen. I was going to do it if anybody walked across the damn rug. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Thor rug box on Thorfinn, it. Thorfinn, I think, can just jump across it while on the run. Yeah, I can just jump it. Mm, sure. You, you, can you can jump 15 feet? I think you can jump your strength score. It's only a 5 foot wide, 8 foot deep hole. <clears throat> yeah. And we are playing mythical heroes, basically. I can jump a hole. 
<laughs> you fall in the hole. Good job. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> just, just to remind everyone, if you need to climb out of a hole, ropes are for climbing things. I heard that once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a soldier. <laughs> I was. <laughs> One thing oh I learned in soldiering was that ropes are for class. It's a Star Wars hey. reference because Mary made me. Uh, Mary asked me if I knew how to climb things on in a Star Wars game, uh, and, I, and there was a rope for... that. Uh, what's his name had left, and I was like, "I'm a fucking soldier. I've seen a rope before." <laughs> it's a Star Wars, though. You might not have seen a rope. All right. Well, that... <laughs> Wait, a lot of cables. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh that was the first round so i went ahead and put everybody back in initiative order so we'll just carry on perfect so we're gonna have Alyssa up uh, first dash like the wind you got this guys run the, Alyssa. the shitty thing is is 70 feet does just gets right here mm. hey can i can uh, i jump the pit <laughs> You can you could, you could totally jump the pit like you you're jump, good enough okay. you don't even need to roll on that you you're above right, I'll above jump the pit it then. so to speak. I'll even say that you can shoot from this square, uh, but he's gonna have half cover, so he will he will have a little extra armor class. But I will let you go ahead and make an attack against the orc. Alright. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nope, nope. That's I a... would almost give you advantage for like him not expecting that shit, but <clears throat> it still wouldn't let you hit him, so <laughs> Oh no. Oh, what dang. if we got it ourselves into He has oh, He your, has your cover, so <clears throat> Yeah. Oh yeah, that adds AC. Okay. Alright. That All right. makes it feel a bit better. Let's, let's watch your kill Krogo real quick. Right. Listen, I could smother you right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that doesn't have honor, so you can't. Oh, you're right. Uh, <laughs> dang it. I Way know you're chaotic. I hope I didn't shoot one of them. <laughs> <sighs> but you're good. Does uh, a, a 10 misses you, Krogo? Yep. Then, to uh, be chaotic or to be good? That is the question. Whoever it is nobler to suffer the burden of an honor code. <laughs> Nerds. Nerds. Uh, Garland, death saving throw, please, sir. <clears throat> Get that twenty. Get Come that on, twenty, Garland. Please, plus game. No. No. So, no. one good, one bad. So what, what happens when you fail all three? You die. Oh, okay. You so die. You bleed ones. out in a puddle. <clears throat> yeah. The the story of Garland ends with no chance of a... Uh, and so it's real. Krogal. I'm gonna take the dodge action. That sounds Which nice. imposes disadvantage on any attempts to hit me. Correct. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end my turn. <laughs> Interesting. I see. The person who does all the damage isn't going to attack. I think he's, trying to, he's trying to wait it out. <laughs> Attrition. Yes, attrition while his teammate is bleeding on the floor. <laughs> and whose fault yes. is that? That's exactly what attrition is. So he's holding out his hand towards the arc and he's looking down at his face. He's like, wait, wait. Time, wait. time out. <laughs> and then he starts like Muhammad Ali shuffling. <laughs> like, <laughs> float like a butterfly. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, he's dancing. Maybe he's not in trouble. Oh, we are so. You could kill him. No, I'm gonna try to wait this Dorf. out. <laughs> oh yeah. Nim, I'm assuming me, fifty feet. Back. Sure. Yeah. yeah. We'll move already. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, notice listen. we don't jump over the rug. 
No, I you respect the uh, the world you have built. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll respect your world. A pit is a pit is a pit. Dems the pits. Unless Come it's on. a demon pit. Come on, Alyssa, get that sneak attack. <laughs> You do have sneak attack since an ally is next to the person you were shooting at. Alright, well, shoot again then. She has to be motivated to hit, though. I don't know if I am yet. Uh, no, nope, yeah, nope, you're nope. not. Nope. <laughs> we're just going to have to delete that character sheet because there is something clearly wrong with it. <laughs> I think she's just not, she's not, what's her inspiration for being there? You know, what's I, the, uh... <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, there's, there's, there's two green guys. I don't know which one to shoot. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey! Is our, our uh, elf is racist. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Jeremy checks the "I'm a racist" box on the Adam personality. Like, yeah, got it in there. <laughs> the orc will slash with the cleaver. Disadvantage. Yep. Which, uh, if it had advantage, it would have crit. Uh, its normal roll is a thirteen, but uh, disadvantage means thirteen. It. Yeah. It also rolled uh, max damage despite the crit. So, oh, oh. you want to you want to hey. attack Garland? Please. Well, hey, that was a good move. The dodge mm-hmm. worked out for him. Uh, Garland, your turn. Okay. All right, you got Here it. Here we go. Hey, hey. Garland, money the epic story of just good enough. <laughs> he's just he's just rolling around on the floor like. Mm. Uh, uh. Krogal. I'm going oh, to. I know exactly what's going to happen when dodge. I survive this. <laughs> dodge action. Sounds heroic. He's going to try to kill his friend. <laughs> I think he is. He wants that crossbow. No, you're right. I have to use my great axe. <sighs> Sam might be disappointed. Oh, uh, yeah. I have to use my great axe. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, but no damage. One on a one D on a one D twelve. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> Plus two because I'm raging. <laughs> hey, so that's six. That's good. More than I did. You attack the orc. This angers the orc. Yep. This... <laughs> he does not like. This it. angers the orc. This angers the orc. No. I did that myself. <laughs> <sighs> Why did we have to orchestrate this mess? Oh boy. Oh. I disengage. <laughs> <laughs> well, these guards are terrible. So we already oh. killed them. All right, so that's no, we use our action to get there. So yeah, we can't do anything. Yes. All right. Don't Calvary. I'm coming for you, Garland. <laughs> it is It is Alyssa's time to shine. You can do it. Let's see, maybe. Mm. Orc is the chair. You can do this. Oh, no, I'm in mad now. I don't like that. Oh, no. oh God. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I tried. Uh, and he just all of your chair. advantage rolls have been in the twenties, but you just can't like. <laughs> God, yeah. yeah. He just doesn't look enough like a chair. Just can't. <laughs> Have you tried you stabbing? Like so what I'm hearing is I need to polymorph all our enemies into chairs. Oh yeah, I'll hit him for sure then. <laughs> <laughs> He's a stool gal. That's the problem. <laughs> Once I can do tougher illusions, then I'll make you think that they're all chairs. Yeah, she thinks chairs are too, uh, they make people soft. <laughs> they do. I'd never sit on a chair. She sits on stools, gets that good posture. <clears throat> Does a 22 hit you? Oh boy. <laughs> I have to say yes it does, sir. I have to. I'm contractually obligated. Uh, <laughs> firm. You could lie, but then you just look at your sheet and say bullshit. <laughs> Please take seven damage prior to any... I will take three damage. There you go. Wait. Uh, Alright. Garland. Garland. Nope. You. Oh god, I'm one away. The next dice oh. determines my fate unless someone wants to med check me <clears throat> or heal me. Krogo. <clears throat> Cleric. <clears throat> I'm trying to click. Whatever. I'll... You oh. have your measuring tool activated. Please click the mouse at oh, the top. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. So let's see. He's right next to me. Well, when in doubt. 
go with the great oh, axe. Shoot. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Just ignore that. You mean Elder? Oh no, no, nope. not one. You don't. Hmm. Not even a mediocre axe. <laughs> <sighs> so Krogol swings at this orc, and just. It just doesn't work. It's just <laughs> not, bad. It's a bad work. time. <laughs> There's no music. It's entirely silent. It just happens. Mm. And he has to live with that. Well, Nim. Mm -hmm. It's your turn. There's an uh -huh. orc versus orc fight happening ahead of you. And there's yeah. a dying dragonborn. Yes, I see my dragon dragonborn, and I'm like, oh, crap. Except he is um, 40 feet away. Uh huh, but mm -hmm. I could use my magic missile that can go <clears throat> 120 feet. I was Ooh. talking about saving the dying dragonborn. You would not be able to. Oh, I got him. Walk you want him. me to use magic on him? Nope. Nope. I'm just. <laughs> the dragonborn felt the need to interrupt your turn to mention he was dying, so I was shutting him down by <laughs> saying that mechanically person. speaking, there's nothing that you could do. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, think I, just, I think he's just hamming it up. As right? far as as far as medicine goes, you don't want me touching you. Cap. But yeah, um Magic Missile? Yeah. Auto magic hits missile. roll damage. Like that one gif. Magic missile. Wow. We know the one. Oh dang. Uh, he did. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> did I hit the right one? You did. Oh no. <laughs> Because apparently the green is too close in shade. Oh, oh. I'm saying facetiously. Someone's throwing shade around. Oh. Look at the menace. Look I'm at sorry. the menace. I only the... see chairs and non-chairs. <laughs> <laughs> the large butcher knife clatters to the floor as the dying orc slumps on top of Garland. Get off of him. Thorfinn. Oh, dead. Never mind. Thorfinn. Yes. It's uh, your turn. And oh, we're going to stay right, in rounds until we decide we're whether Garion dies or not. So I can't get to not. him. I can't get to him this turn, so I can't stabilize him with a medicine check. No. So, so I'm going to cast a spell. No, nah, I'm going to cast a god dang spell. Yes. <laughs> cast a god's dang <laughs> spell on this man. All god's right. damn. Flip a coin. You either heal all your hit points or instantly die. All right. <laughs> Shantanae, grant me the power. To you say you're going raise to this man. Uh, it's very close. Shantae. Mm. <laughs> Shantae? I don't know how you pronounce it. Shantae? Shantae. Yeah, Shantae. He doesn't answer because you pronounce it wrong. She, <laughs> she doesn't answer. She's a goddess. <clears throat> raise this man like a like a like a wheat in a good <laughs> harvest. <laughs> That's my healing word. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, hey. you hear you hear uh, nine nine hit points is what you get. <laughs> Did you say you nine? <laughs> nine? I nine. nine. I'm, I'm a, okay. I'm alive again. It's all good. Well, if by uh, it's an all and good, you mean you have narrowly escaped death, I guess. Oh wait, I I have my wake up line. So as I get healed, I revive. Oh, oh, Eldritch blast! I like Eldritch blast the body in front of me. Oh, it's on top of you at this point, right? Yeah. That's how it flies off of me and hits the wall. <laughs> Flat. So, uh, just because we're doing a teaching thing here, uh, just so y'all are aware, these there's a super fun table in the Dungeon Master's Guide when someone goes down like that. It's called the Lingering Injury Table. Ooh. <laughs> and, uh, I feel like for demonstration purposes we should use this. <laughs> we can definitely use this. So I feel no, like to bring the Dragon Age feel to it, you know? Yeah. Uh we actually used it in my Thursday game. I'm a I'm a player, not a DM. But uh my poor elven wizard got to roll on that goddamn Aww. table like six fucking times and by the end of the campaign oh. I had uh I had very Various minor injuries that I could heal because I was a cleric wizard multiclass, so I, I oh, fixed fixed my broken ribs and my gangrene and all that stuff. But my very <laughs> very pretty high elven wizard had acquired a facial scar that no. required healing of sixth level spell slot or higher to fix, and gave me disadvantage on any diplomacy or uh, 
oh. persuasion checks, but so, so was, but advantage oh. on uh, intimidation. <laughs> oh, so it was oh, the. So it was the scar that was bad enough that if like you approached like a bar and the bartender was below the bar and came up to look at you, he'd like fall. Oh Jesus! <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is funny because every time we found like prisoners and stuff like that, I'll avoid any uh, story because it was an official module, so I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> but anytime we found prisoners and stuff like that, like the fighter and the monk were running into the other room, like trying to find more bad guys, and me and the warlock were like prisoners let's you know here have a sword from the fallen guard and are you okay but every time i'd fucking talk to anyone it'd be like oh no get away from me <laughs> <laughs> back horrible beast back oh, oh god that's all right well, well, that, I, I just came up i just have a new idea for a character where yeah horrible facial disfiguration so the technique for it is to just stare at them silently and to intimidate it just with the ugliness of the face mm. and then after they tell you everything be like well, thank you for the information. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Thank um, you for your kindness. No, I always no. keep making house as a murderer. <laughs> so, oh. uh, roll a d20. Let's see what you would have got if we were being just brutal about it. <laughs> you would have, you would have uh -oh. gained a minor scar that does not have any adverse effects, but requires oh. magical healing of sixth level of higher to heal. Well, I am going to take the minor scar because scars are cool. It's on your butt. <laughs> yes, yes, the guy reached around and oh, when the body dropped, put your knife fell perfectly. Just perfectly positioned. <laughs> That's, that's what it was. It wasn't the scar from being killed. It's because you fell and slumped on the floor when uh, <laughs> yeah. when uh, he when... died from the magic missile. The dropping of the cleaver, it landed upon thine buttocks and scarred it. So. <laughs> uh, oh, what um, grave misfortune. Your, your hams. <laughs> oh, man. All right, oh, I really so, am now the butt of the joke now, huh? Oh, boy. <laughs> Y'all uh, y'all are out of initiative and free to advance. Right. I'm going as necessary. to take a hand axe and cut this guy's head off. Oh boy! <laughs> what the? Oh Jesus! Oh. Is that what was that for? And then when I'm done, he has, does he have hair? He does have hair underneath his sweet do rag. Yes. Cool. I'm gonna tie it to my belt. <laughs> Oh my god, you're tying his head using your Great. I'm using his hair to tie his head onto my- Yup. Yes. Yup. So, Nim's gonna get about this close, see the blood, and be like, um... What's going on in there? Do I wanna know? This man's soul will be cursed for eternity. It's okay, just he's doing on. curses, I guess I don't wanna go down Just there. a heads up, I would not approach right now. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. boy. What's in here? Oh, it's a closet with more blood. Ooh, yeah. lovely. We're in a bit of a hairy situation. Please hold. Well, let's not lose our heads and figure out <laughs> what we're about to do. Uh, Are there anything in these boxes? Finger of death. Yeah, let's go dig in these boxes. We're good at that. Hey, hey Krogal, let's open this door. So... Let's do it, buddy. <laughs> All right. Isn't like oh, oh, no, time? wrong door, Krogal. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. What's up, Bounty? I, w I was letting the madness ensue. Um, All right. <laughs> Don't that let that happen. Take this control of them. This door, Krogo. <laughs> what? Oh. Uh, I've used, I've, I've raged twice in so many hours. I'm For the, <laughs> the closet raiding crew, it's, it's further dry goods, rice, beans, that kind of stuff. It looks like they... Uh, there's not as much as you see on the map. It's only a couple of boxes. Uh, but it does look like these guys um, were setting up to be here for an extended period of time, if that makes sense. Like, they didn't move in yesterday, and they aren't just camping while they go somewhere else. Like, they're, they're here, and they're clearly digging in the other room, and, like, they, they brought stuff. You know, Alyssa, we could set up shop here, and we wouldn't even have to bring anything. True, true. How long did they to wear did, jewels, though? Did those voices tell say how long they'd been here when they were digging? Or mm -hmm. if I remember that wrong? Uh, they said they'd been digging for three days. 
one one guy complaining to the other guy says we've been digging for three solid days. Gotcha. I mean, I would love to do an archaeological dig here. There's got to be something if they're that determined. Mm. Seems like they're doing an archaeological. They're doing one of them digs themselves. <clears throat> Well, if they keep on digging, and if they find something, I'm sure they'll yell loud enough that we can hear them. <laughs> Krogo. You think it's going to be serendipitous enough that they're going to find what they find when we're here? Yeah, that sounds right. I, I believe in Providence. <laughs> I think positively most of the time. Oh, yeah, that's sure. the key. That's the key. Krogo, as you... Hey, wait, where's the other two? <laughs> <laughs> if they're dead again, I'm not saying. I'm out of spells. Oh, yeah, and I can't shoot anything. <laughs> uh, Krogal, in this room you have the gentleman lying on the table with the aforementioned javelin protruding from betwixt his nethers uh, <laughs> phrasing there is I that. blood all over the floor, there is a fire pit that's kind of going and there is various torture ish looking instruments nearby, there is a cage in the corner and there is a hallway down this way where it looked like there was several iron bars set up, kind of jail cell style. Um, I look down at the head on my waist and kind of shake my head to think I wasted a javelin on you. And, and then I'm going to stick it back in the bandolier. Just, hmm. hmm. You said there were cages somewhere? There is an oh. empty cage in the corner, and it looks like there's some cages or jail cells or something down this way I have poor intelligence and wisdom I'm just gonna doop a doop a doop a doop over here oh god alright I'll play babysitter where is he going no no it's bad I got this <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust you damn hello my roll 20 kind of froze up while I was revealing uh, you can see all that right yeah there's a Looks person like a... in this one looks like Man. Getting in trouble again. Krogal's gonna ignore that for a moment because I play RPG is gonna check the end, but we're coming back. <laughs> that guy looks like a story. I, I think Thorfinn would like to do a medicine check on this individual. How does he look? He is a... Hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, the gentleman that... in the first cell mm -hmm. is covered in rags, or dressed in rags, laying on the floor in like a pile of hay and does not appear to be moving. Uh, is, he mer is he making it work? Mm. Could you rephrase the question? Is he working the rags? They look good? You said a dress, uh, right? I mean, he was dressed in rags. All right. Look kind of ragged and stuff. It looks like it used to be like a leather tunic and clothing over it but he's he's probably met the worst end of a particular orc or half orc oh. be it uh the gentleman on the since we're talking clothing uh the gentleman on the table is pretty finely dressed before somebody started hacking at him it looks like he may have been attacked before being hacked on the mm. gentleman in the final cell is like sitting down in the corner like knees pulled to his chest as much as he can kind of head buried in between his knees and is just like shivering and it appears to be an elf hmm do i give in to the ancient hatred between our peoples and slaughter him now <laughs> <laughs> you've been fine hey, with Alyssa. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i didn't uh, shoot you well i'm out of rage <laughs> um yeah Kroger's just kind of going to kind of rattle the bars. Just not going to say anything, just going to rattle the bars until he gets a response. Hello there, General Elf. I heard an um, I saw a ping, and I have elf things going on. So what's everyone doing? We got the clearly meant to be diplomatic duo uh, talking to the prisoner. <laughs> hey, I have free charisma, yeah. thank you very much. I am diplomatic when I need to be. <laughs> Plus zero. <laughs> Do we have another chair down here? <laughs> I mean, I could go get you one real quick. Hang on. <laughs> oh <my God. 
I don't know about Mary, but I think if Mary's trying to, uh, sorry, Nim, if Nim's trying to like check the body, uh, Thorfinn's going to assist in that. Yeah, uh, she's feeling a little queasy, but she's good at investigation. Yeah, so I'm going to assist with that. Hey, I'm going to use the help action. Is that Ooh. chair appropriate for you? Yeah, that's good. It's a good chair. Oh, I like it. Billier. It's a nice chair. <clears throat> Very so. It's a good chair. It's a nice chair. What's what's I your like uh, chair? What's your medicine check going on here? Hmm? I heard a medicine check question mark. Investigation. Investigation yeah. check. Yeah. Using my investigation, I'm checking over the body, seeing if it might be a name like You should a... like roll the dice then so I know what to tell okay. you. And I'm helping her, so hey, look at that. There you go. <laughs> so, you'll kind of look this guy over. I'm assuming that you're not just like going to grab the bloodied carcass and flip him or anything, but. Uh, I'm hoping. That's what, that's what Thorfinn is for. Okay. Yeah, uh, like, can you please turn the body over? Thank you. Yeah, sure, no problem. You will. Yeah. You will recognize that he has a like an emblem on his clothing that would signify he works for the Lion Shield Coster, which is like a trading company that operates all over the area. So he's clearly like a uh, either the guard or a merchant for this company, like some you would assume like a supply caravan kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, since we were spending so much time checking over those boxes and the supplies, do some of those boxes have oh. the same insignia? It's a yes. dire chair. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Wait, I have fire. It's super effective. Shoot I have fire. It. Shoot it! It's super effective. I use burning cans on the chair. You asked for this. <laughs> there were, in fact, lion silt coster and I boxes the chair. in the. Uh... Interesting. Maybe oh you're God, turning you around. I, the chair. <laughs> I, I totally that. missed the chair. Critically missed it. Because you knew it wasn't a real chair. Yeah, exactly. It was a phantom chair. It was in the my mind. Phantom of the chair. The three of you are in a corner. <laughs> hiding away from a chair. All right. <laughs> so Melissa, mark um, fear uh, of chairs and hallucinations on your character sheet. So uh, this uh, elf. Yeah, what do y'all actually say to the elf? Hey, uh, how like how dead or awake does he seem? He's dead. conscious and like whimpering and shivering in the corner there. Hey. Um, he is. Hey there, buddy. He's dressed, but he looks like he's been beaten. Well, why don't we get him out of this cell? Yeah, hey, hey there, buddy. You okay? I'm a. I'm gonna open the cell. Don't panic. Do we need keys or to find some keys of some sort, or can we just open it from the outside? Are you the... two not strong enough to open it? I have zero strength. <clears throat> if you try I've the door, you will it. find that it is locked. Oh, I hey, can unlock that. Right. Don't, uh, don't panic. My friends are either going to break the door or lockpick it, whichever one succeeds. Hey, guess they what? Have... Go over here and I check the body. <clears throat> you nope, can that's make you... a thieves' tools check there, Alyssa. How does athletics sound? Be, what, sleight of hand? You should be able to just click on Thieves Tool on the left-hand side of your sheet there. I think I put it in. Oh, there it is. Hmm. But athletics, though. <laughs> you unlock the door just as... Well, Nim, are you going for keys or no? No, because okay. I probably didn't hear what they're doing. <laughs> okay, well, Alyssa <laughs> unlocks the door masterfully. <clears throat> All right, I step forward. Uh... Hey there, it's okay. No need to panic. Oops. No, it's fine. Just oh, crowd it. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> Are you alright? It's a good way to treat somebody who's being tortured. So, he will look up. Like I said, he kind of had his uh, his head between his knees and was like cowering as, as much in the corner as he could. He will look up and kind of like reel away from the dragonborn. But once he sees that there is another elf he will start to calm down and will simply ask what's going on uh we're hoping you could tell us that i think we killed your guard and i think you're free to go but could you tell us what the hell's going on over here and uh we can try to help you we have a healer with us who can maybe patch you up a little make sure that you're not permanently injured or anything you're fine though right no oh. uh, go ahead 
Oh, and I have some food here. I pull out a bunch oh, of <laughs> rations I stuffed in my pockets earlier. Fucking rations. <laughs> uh, he will hesitate to grab the food immediately, but will explain. <clears throat> um, I, I was just part of a caravan coming up from from the port. They they jumped us on the road, and they they've been torturing torturing us ever since. Um, are the others okay? Yeah. Um, and then he will look, take I'm, a trail ration from you. I'm I'm sorry this happened to you. It's it's really tough. I'm aware. Look, you're fine, and just be thankful for that. We will make sure you are safe and can get out of here safely, and we will make sure those who did this to you will suffer. Isn't that right, Korgal? Hmm. Well, <laughs> we will make sure that the people who did this to him will suffer, yes? Death will be swift. <laughs> munch, 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 munch. Uh, I'm not yes. sure that was very reassuring. Look, I'm sure... You want our friend who's a medic to check you over? Uh... Uh, I, I think I'll be fine. I, I just really want to get out of here. Yeah, of what? course. We'll, we'll escort you to the door. Are they are they all dealt with? Uh, the ones <clears throat> that led... We walked over here without any problems. Uh, oh, okay. I'll, I'll reach in my hand. Here, just follow me. We'll take you out here. You'll be fine. He will follow. I will follow behind as a guard. He's going to give kind of like a sideways glance at the orc standing outside the cell door. But once he sees that there are more of y'all and it, clearly this wasn't some sort of trap he will <clears throat> follow with. You say clearly. I have a great axe. <laughs> <laughs> as soon no. as he starts walking past us, I will step away from the body. Like, no, we're not doing anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> Investigating. Yeah, Thorfinn, like, because he was the one with his hands like all over the so, like she was like just looking yeah he takes his hands off and wipes the blood off and like, yeah. like casually brushing him on the bottom of the table well yeah I mean he's pretty familiar with blood so it's like what are you gonna do uh oh Griffin are you not in roll 20 uh my internet <clears throat> is being screwy uh, give me a second I'm gonna try something else he's just munching on those rations yeah. <laughs> I mean I, I am fine. Oh, there's a door here. Do you guys want to see the closet? How about we taking this we, guy out first? Yeah, let's let's, let's save civilians and oh, then right. so the when I want to open a door. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you says, Garland in pushes pit. you into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now while everyone's away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what is your plan here? Are you gonna like walk him all the way up, or are you gonna be like, well, here. there's here. there's yeah. the door. Good luck. <laughs> Here's the way hey, out. I'm here's the way out. If you want to not travel through the woods or back to... Oh, he's... oh okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. He's gone. <laughs> oh, no. If you want to wait up front, you can until we come out. We probably won't be another hour at most. Uh, if you don't want to, you can probably see from here as you get to the top a little hamlet. It's called <clears throat> Stonehaven. They'll take you in. Uh, I would, uh, like, I'd rather and whisper to him and be like, "Get the hell out of here." I'd rather not <laughs> take my chances with any of their patrols. Uh, so, uh, uh, I, I, I'll try my luck in the woods and and head to town. Thank, <clears throat> thank you so much. Yep. And he make like a tree and leaf. Uh, <laughs> that might be almost racist. No. <laughs> what else he was? Is he higher wood? <laughs> he looks a little woody to me. <laughs> Some of my best friends were trees growing up. <laughs> I have no doubt about that. That's Thorfinn. Thorfinn nods his head like, "Yeah, of course, trees are great." <laughs> what are you kind guys? of dwarf are you? Come back at the stairs. All right, guys. We have the oh, cavern of mystery. With him. We I think have... cavern... we should definitely check the cavern. Of yes, mystery. there's a cavern over here. Yeah, just guys, just there's a more that. interesting cavern. We've done. We're door. kicking the door down. The door is boring. <laughs> You know what? Let them knock the door down. They're not going to stop. I can't heal. So you you kick the door down? Yes. Yeah. Give me an athletics check. I'm holding my <clears throat> other class. I'm not kicking doors. Hey, get, I'm standing give your, give your boy directly behind them with my arms crossed. I'm waiting. Give your boy Croco advantage, man. Come on. Nope. 
I want to see what other monster you open up. <laughs> oh, I don't even need it. Yes. I'm just going to cool. lean up against the column here and just sigh. <sighs> yeah, Thorfinn yes. uh, copies your stance and lights up a pipe. <clears throat> Taking a little drag. So oh, you, you have an extra one of those? Oh, yeah, of course. Hands it over. <laughs> it's the finest halfling pipe. Yeah, he starts talking about uh, trees and elvish to Alyssa to pass the time. <laughs> oh, nice. You rear back for like the mightiest of half orc kicks ever, and you like pull back and you just stomp the shit out of this giant beaten copper iron bound door, and then you Into are a closet. you are aware of as I mentioned earlier, the doors open to you. <laughs> <laughs> Not I don't know if he does. <laughs> <laughs> so they like awesome. they rattle. They they go back against the frame and then they like bounce back slightly towards you, but they do not open. Hmm. Buddy, it's time. Breathe. <sighs> Take another drag on the pipe. Up. So trees, right? Yeah. And I prefer pears. Wait. Yeah. Ooh, pears are good. Pear trees are the best, especially if you cultivate them in the right areas and climates. Could do a wonder for community. Mm, yeah, yeah. I like cherry trees too. And cherries are good too. Yeah. Beautiful in the spring. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, and you can make cherry pie, cherry <clears throat> jam, cherry. Have you ever had cherry whiskey? Holy shit. <laughs> we had the best cherry whiskey back home. I miss that. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Griffin, what are you doing? Does it open try this to, time? Still try to kick it. <laughs> I'm not raging, but I'm raging. Have you tried just opening it? Door resists. Is Door is closed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a crit eventually. <laughs> so just, oh, like, multiple kicks are going. I don't <clears> think <throat> this is the door for you. I think we should go. Hey, you know what? While well, y'all were off getting killed, we had a really interesting. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on, this is important. This is important. I'm going to roll an athletics check for this. What, to get in front of him and open it up? No, I attempt to lift from bottom. Oh, boy. <laughs> Twelve. Door can do this. Oh, almost. I have a, oh. 24. I, I think... I mean, oh me. My God. I'm kicking the door with him, so I think. Does that give him advantage? Does that give oh, him the yeah. crit? Oh, yeah. That's a crit. That give... That's a crit. <laughs> uh, uh, Thorfinn takes a pull from his uh, pipe. He says, You know, I think there's like a, a cleric spell. I, like... I missed that oh, well. one. Griffin and I can never be allowed in the same game ever again. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you were here for this part. Uh, this temple is really old and historically significant. <clears throat> Uh, we team up together to kick down the- and continue to Listen, down. Bounty, how long will this take? <laughs> how long gonna walk do you in have? <laughs> as long <laughs> as it takes. Yeah. Nymph wants to walk in between them and try to open the doors. Hmm. Hmm. Do we kill Nymph? <laughs> I'm considering. Yeah. She looks at both of you back and forth with her arms folded and says, right. Okay, Nim, I have one question before you open the door. What? You're a scholar, right? Yes. So do you study names? <clears throat> I'm just asking if you're an expert on nomenclature. Uh, <laughs> I, I Krogol know. walks away. He could be in the presence of that. I know. She out. just looks at you, shakes her head. <laughs> I'm hiring a new crew after this. I can't stand these puns. Do you open the door? I open the door. I'm holding my over. Oh, <laughs> I heard there's like the three bandits with crossbows. Just like... <laughs> <laughs> you sufficiently knocked. Um, so ahead of you is a flight of stairs that leads 15 feet down, and then there is another. Whoa. There is another hey, floor. Uh, this room is not lit, um, so it is dark in here, and you see a pair of stone sarcophagi. <gasps> You would have seen them from there prior to coming down, but now that you are here, you will see, we'll call it okay. this much. See, 
uh, seeing that they finally opened the door, Thor- Thorfinn, <clears throat> you know, puts his flask away, uh, takes a good drag from the pipe, and then, like, stuffs it out and says to Alyssa, oh, shit, I thought I'd be here to my 200th. All right, let's get a move. Yeah, well, I thought I'd be here to my 500th, so. <laughs> oh, Nim- boy. Nim is just running in between all of the sarcophagi, like, oh, my gosh, we found something. Okay. <laughs> so- Are these sarcophagi you said made of stone? They are, in fact. Let me let me describe before. Yes, please. Further, I'll stop running. I swear. <laughs> All right. So, no, you have to keep going. as mentioned, this room is completely dark. Uh, a thick layer of dust covers the floor. There are several matching pairs of stone sarcophagi in here. Each one of them looks like a uh, human in uh, well adorned armor. Like super awesome plate mail paladin style armor. Uh, oh my god, go Thorfinn! <laughs> what? what <is> that? <laughs> you don't have to teach my- Nim that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, each of them is like a stone knight or paladin, and they have various shields or swords. Some of them have swords, some of them have swords and shields, etc. But they are all humanoid, and they're all like well armored. Interesting. And then y'all have like 60 foot dark vision. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which would give us down here. You can see oh, it kind of opens up. Right. Well, look, I'm, Thorfinn's looking at the closest one, expecting the, uh, expecting the carvings. Blacknesses. You've seen better, but you've also seen much worse. I'm going to sneak down to the corner and peek around. So that will be a 17, I believe. Yep. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 17. Okay. Uh, You don't recognize anyone? So I think you want to help them out. Yeah. Making sure I got all my stuff opened back up from our glorious blue screen of death. Uh, we had Alyssa walking forward to check, and we had Nim and Thorfinn assisting therein. Mm-hmm. So, Alyssa, if you are here, you will see uh, there are two like stone altars in this room. <coughs> Above you, is, the ceiling is kind of domed, and there is uh, there is. A, you're using your dark vision right now, so it's all black and white. Uh, but there is uh, like frescoes carved into the ceiling and painted of a huge battle between uh, humans and orcs. And all the humans appear to be wearing armor like the knights behind you. And then there's their very barbaric marauding orc tribes. And the two are kind of clashing in the center straight ahead of you. Hmm. Hmm. I know who I want to win. <laughs> the orcs, right? Yes. I'll never tell. Hey, check the chat, Griff. All right. I'm, I'm reading it. Don't worry. Uh, these two. <laughs> I believe we are missing them momentarily, but... And maybe Forfin, or is Forfin back? Oh, I'm back. Oh, Sorry. Uh, we are all here. I took the opportunity. I was given by Providence. <laughs> <laughs> the dynamic yeah. duo is... Uh... Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I normally do a bathroom break. I am terribly sorry about that, guys. Hey, when nature calls. Uh, I got so caught up in the fucking door duo. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's hard to not be strangely enraptured. Uh-huh. It's like a slow moving train crash. Mm-hmm. Just can't divert. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Miss Nim, you missed the description that the the room where Thorfinn and Alyssa currently are. The ceiling is like domed it it goes higher up than the 10 feet that the rest of the ceilings have been and there is a large 
battle happening, uh, like carved into the ceiling between <gasps> humans uh, wearing armor, much like the knights in the sarcophagi, and what appears to be like a marauding orc uh, army. Oh, that's cool. Is there like a depiction of uh, any battle in battlements, like a f of some sort, or is it just like a battlefield? Oh. Could I, oh, could I do a history and just, like, just go mm -hmm. nuts on it? Yeah, you can. Yeah. You got uh, guidance. For sake of um, the Forever. shape of the room, basically, mm -hmm. it is it is just, a, like, a, a battlefield. where Imagine the two armies are rushing towards each other, and they're meeting in the middle. Oh, okay. So gotcha. right, in, right above where uh, Nim is currently, mm -hmm. the humans are... The humans are on the green side, and the orcs are on the red side, altar-based, basically. Mm -hmm. So the humans come around this side of the dome and are meeting the orcs here, but then it wraps around, and if you look mm. up behind you, you'll see that they are also meeting on this side, and then the orcs, same thing. They appear to all be coming from this direction here, and then from this direction here. Mm. Very cool. Ah. Twelve. Remember you get the d4 from... Guidance? Oh, yeah. Guided. Show <clears throat> me that four. Um, is it slash roll? I can't. Slash roll space one d4. Also, there is a, a dice thingy over on oh, the nice. left. If... Hmm? Hey, that'll 15. bring you to 15, which is what you needed for this particular check, so... Yeah. Praise be! <laughs> Praise be to <laughs> all them gods we'll that do all them things. God later. <laughs> so you have in fact read a book before so you are uh you are aware I push up my glasses while i'm looking <laughs> nice uh about 250 years ago you do know that uh this area was plagued by marauding hordes of orcs they came from the east and the humans who were kind of settling from the south, Stravenport being the big city down there. They were pushing forward into the frontier when they kind of started encountering these orc raids. So the uh, the humans erected guard towers on high points, various hills and stuff, to keep lookout over these lands as they pushed farther north and eventually were able to drive the orc bands out of them. Some of the orcs were defeated outright some of them were chased off and some of them were enslaved or otherwise and due to such a battle is why there are so many half orcs in the region hmm. humans and orcs being the dominant species hmm. tear down the castles i like it I am scribbling in my notebooks. Is there anything at the end? What's, what's at the end of this dome area? Is it just another wall or is oh, it sorry. a door? Fucking, I was revealing things, but then the computer crashed. So. That's fair. There is a big set of fancy, like, uh, it is polished white stone doors. <gasps> Oh. I think I think oh, Thorfinn doors. walks up to the doors. <laughs> he, he kind of puts his hands on his hips, looks them up and down, looks back at Alyssa, and says, "I think I know the boys for this job." And it cuts to <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of these yeah, middle of this fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> you will notice that there is writing on the door as well. <clears throat> Oh, okay. But I will I will cut oh, to the fancy door. I will cut to the dynamic door who got defeated <laughs> by the last fancy door. Okay. Bring All it right. On. So while you were gone, we've established that I have used Mage Hand to summon a stubby a hand with stubby fingers, aka Mage Foot. Yes. That I'm going to use to kick down the door. And when that inevitably doesn't work, I'm gonna open the door with it. Well, that may be your plan for what happens when it inevitably fails. <laughs> I have it. my great axe ready. To open the door? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Is this a wooden door or a bronze door again? That is a wooden door. Oh, great axes can work. You push open the doors. It's a double set of doors. You see a long hallway that appears to open up to the left at the end of it. 
kind of like <clears throat> here-ish. Hey, a hey guy with HP points want to go check that out. <laughs> hey. Hit hey. point points? Hey. Uh, hey. At the end of the hall is another <laughs> thick <laughs> curtain drawn across. Ooh. I think you guys would be really not interested in curtain. Um, I mean, Stand I can, Stop. I, I am making, after we see what's in this hallway, I may or may not use Mage Hand to just waffle the curtain a bit. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, is there food? Hey, hey, Corgo, you know the best way to part the curtain? What is it, Garland? Throw a chair at it. Exactly. What? Athletics. Oh, <laughs> Stand by, guys. I said, hold on. <clears throat> yeah, he's doing a bunch of non-screen jokes. Yeah, we can probably move back because there's probably guys sitting in these chairs. Yeah, you know oh, things. Oh. I think as this is happening, are we all are we going to find the guys to get no. the open or what? Are They're we back. Doing? Oh, jeez. Thought we killed those guys. Yeah, right. I'm lazy. <laughs> I only got seven unique fucking bandits. So bite me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just twins. The revenants. Right. Oh, <laughs> this is why you don't go up by yourselves. So y'all would have been like here-ish. Yeah, because we're on a we were heading to find them. Uh, oh, ten is going to miss. So a crossbow bolt will slam into the wall right next to uh, oh. Crow oh, as soon as, as as soon as you come around the corner. They're learning. <laughs> and an 11 <laughs> also misses. So, yeah, oh, a, an arrow and a crossbow bolt slam into the wall next to you. Is it time for initiative? It is time for initiative. It's javelin time. It's time for me to... There's two people standing close to each other. I can cast AoE spells. Or... Bolt <laughs> chart. <laughs> yeah. All right. I... Go ahead and give me them initiatives. <laughs> God damn it, I can't this is happening. <laughs> yes, I can. It's me and Griffin. Hey. What do you expect? I don't know. <laughs> Griffin, <laughs> oh my god, that's beautiful. Are you not clicking on your tokens, sir? We might not be. I mean, I already told you to change your name like three times. You didn't do that, so. Oh, um, um hold it says on. It's a when I look at it. <laughs> it's, uh... Griffin. I see yeah. Griffin. I was talking about oh, oh, wait, oh, here we go. Reset play. Oh. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Give me a sec. They say that our generation is the tech generation. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not talking about changing your name down bottom. I'm saying underneath oh. your chat box, there is an yeah. as and then a drop down menu. If you click that drop down menu, it'll change oh, yeah, whether I you're mean, talking as your player. I've been or doing your... that. I've been doing that. Yeah, obviously not. No, I I think when I when <laughs> that, it stopped, but it was there. It's me, Croco. Uh, yeah, it's it's been Garland. Look up. <laughs> I got recording, man. I can show you that it's not on this end. Uh oh. <laughs> it it uh, is. It's on my side. I will send you a snapshot. Go ahead and uh, roll initiative. Uh, three folks down there actually like. <clears throat> Yelling <laughs> again. You know. How many rounds with this take? <laughs> you know, why do they even bother to join? I can, I can do this solo. I got this. Dragon Breath or Burning Hands? Your choice. Well, you know what? No. It's your. You, you do it, buddy. I trust you. Um, Alyssa does which fun. does more damage. I'll use the other one. Yeah, at least I'm consistent. All right, all right. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think they do the same, really. No, one does 2d6, the other does 3d6. Yeah, I'm rolling it. Thank I'm you. doing it. <laughs> I fire. Your, Sorry. your breath probably does the last of the Yes, two. correct. All right, so they got their surprise round off because they were laying in wait, you know, with all the noise and shit that has happened. Uh, <laughs> wait, noise? Did we kick down doors or something? You fought an orc outside the door. <laughs> I'm we spent a solid minute trying to break down bronze doors. Yeah, I was um, being sarcastic. Uh, so the first ruffian <laughs> is going to shoot at you with his short bow. I'd like to see him try. Uh, he tried. He, he rolled a nine, though. So. 
Uh, oh god. Cool. All right, so we go to Alyssa and Nim, who are blissfully unaware of shit happening. What would the pair of y'all like to do? You have a large set of stone doors in front of you, and they um, once you have moved closer, you can now see that there is text at what would be chest height for a human. What's the language? It's common. Look at that. I need a lift. Yeah, okay. Thorfinn like, puts the shield on his back and stoops so you can get up on it. Yeah. Okay, so how are y'all doing this? We got Thorfinn, shield... Nim standing on top. Yep. Is this Arcana or history? I mean, it's reading a fucking door, so. Fine. I read the door. I help her. God, it's. I, I <laughs> get this. I don't right. need help reading. I can read. Thorfinn, like, is lifting his hand up and he's like, all right. I'm not going to push my faith on no one. Let me. I'm going to type it out so that I don't have to repeat it later. Mm hmm. Oh, you're typing out with that. Yeah. Oh, there. Ever wonder why everyone knows one language? Hmm. Every now and then, yeah. Why? I don't know, I'm just curious. That's all. Probably some wizard did it. Yeah. Hey. I mean, just when you think about it, it should be dwarven. <laughs> Why is that? I mean, look at all the scripts. It's in Dwarvish. Might as well just be the language everyone speaks. The gods probably did it. I don't know. I pride Abyssal myself on cool. being able to communicate with many others. I know common, no, Dwarven, and Elven. You don't know Orcish? Do you know Abyssal or Draconic? <laughs> um, no. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, you don't speak intelligent race languages. <laughs> 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 the two smartest party members. Yeah. You can't even communicate with them. God. <laughs> I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I understand ever. So you're reading this, right, Nim? I am. Hmm. Hmm. What does that mean? It says, Our watch stands ever vigilant. Penitent need only kneel and show their commitment to order. Which yeah, the penitent is uh, something like uh, they feel bad, like a, like a not like a sinner, like a redeemer, symbol. Redemption. Orcish translation: moving targets. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Do we kneel down before the door or the altars? I mean, hmm. so, some the penitent makes me think it's got to be like it maybe might be magic. You know, if we don't if we don't actually if we don't actually want to be Redeemed, maybe it won't work. Well, it's worth giving it a try. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Um, I guess that would mean that we bow in front of the human altar. altar? Yeah. I'm gonna go over there. Yeah. Kneel Enjoy. down. <clears throat> you kneel in front of the altar. Uh, it is a stone altar. There may have been stuff on it at one time, but it's now only covered by a thick layer of dust. Uh, you kneel in front of the altar and nothing happens. Hmm. All right, hold on. I might have the stuff for this. Thorfinn like, kind of gets his bag out and uh, he start. He kind of goes over to the um, to the altar itself. Notices it's pretty dusty. So he starts cleaning. He starts getting out some uh, prayer incense, some. Uh, yeah, he starts getting some incense out, uh, his prayer book, uh, a couple candles lit, and he just cleans up the altar, uh, lights some incense. All right. All right, maybe that maybe that might do it. It's you know, it needs to be lived in, or else it probably won't work. It's got to be like this is still the order's place. We will fade to black and jump back up to the fucking bad guys who got to jump on the door duo and couldn't hit them with three attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what can I say? We're invincible, except for the time where I almost died. Yes. <laughs> Krogo. Oh, yeah. um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna soften them up for my body here. Gonna step forward, throw a javelin at Wolverine's bro long lost brother. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't find each other in here. <laughs> it's, re it's sad if you think about it. 
There were a lot of doors. Not with that. I think. <laughs> with that done, I'm just gonna look him at him f- like I'm getting that back, and then go back like. Yeah, you know, put the put the caster out front. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. He's I was, a very. I was, he's a. <laughs> I wanted to jump in and fire, bro, but now I know I'm. <laughs> That just, can't end well. just because I'm this guy, you throw the javelin and you miss by enough of a margin that it sticks into the back of that chair he's standing next to. Nice. You're a good person, Bounty. <laughs> All right. He knows what's important. I'm gonna. <laughs> he prioritizes. I'm gonna run back Marlin. and hide and, ca- and and ready an eldritch blast. How dare you! <laughs> You left me with no choice. Not- <laughs> I told you I was going to throw a javelin so that you could fire burn. I didn't you missed! Be- I didn't want to be in the AOE. <laughs> I could have aimed it. Maybe. Seems like there's trouble in paradise. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> there's no Popcorn. trouble in this paradise. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I'm rallying an Eldritch Blast. Oh, and the good. first enemy to walk around the corner. Or to walk inside. Oh, he changed at the last second. Yeah, it could change. Thank you. <laughs> uh, close the door on their friendship. Here's a fun Ooh, fact. He fun. can see Krogal, but you cannot see him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yo, son. <laughs> oh, crit. Yo, oh, okay. shit. <laughs> yeah, so that's 15 damage. Oh, he's done. I know. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, no. Let the bodies hit the floor. Um, what is medicine? Oh, medicine is wisdom. I can maybe do this. I like right. I like that. Uh, roll twenty still has this thing where if you go negative, it just gives you a negative health bar. So Kro- Krogal's health bar yeah, is currently backwards. next to him. <laughs> He's getting born in his next life. <laughs> So it's now Thorfinn's turn, who spends it setting up incense and dusting off an altar. Hum- humming <laughs> happily to himself. Okay. Can we say that I screamed as a, a great orcish roar as I fell? <clears throat> well, you're Hold a ha- half orc, so don't you have a sweet orcish ability? Ooh, yeah. Well, I'm really certain orcs had, like, I don't know if it's changed it in 5e, but they had it in Pathfinder. I, I, I fall. I get knocked down, but I get up again. For the new people in 5e, why don't you go ahead and read off your uh, Relentless Endurance or whatever the hell it is. Let me open up this handy-dandy character sheet that was provided for me. Hmm. Relentless Endurance. When you are dropped to 0 HP but not killed outright, instead drop to 1 HP. Must finish long rest before reusing. Krogal is at one hit point, so he yells. I use my bonus action to yell. What do you yell? I yell. (laughs) There is no words. Feel shame is a minor action. Okay, well, uh, I will go ahead and allow the altar trio to be aware of you. Okay. Garland. Damn it! Where did they go? Garland. Uh, well, considering the last time that happened, shit. I'm gonna start running. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking bets on which one's dead. How I dare think... you assume it? How dare you assume our death? Garland! Oh, yeah. You're... I'm on. I'm on running. Oh, wait, no. Are we still in initiative? <laughs> you are still in initiative. I right, need so to do gotta... something real quick. Well, well, it is. What's his name's initiative? It's um, uh well it's Thorfinn. Thorfinn. Yeah, it's Thorfinn's initiative. You Thorfinn hope they get you before I do. Thorfinn <laughs> Mac Douglas. <clears throat> I don't know what I can I can stabilize you though, buddy. I got no more uh oh no <laughs> magics. Oh you don't. No, I can stabilize you and then rest. <laughs> we <laughs> Take need a, nap. a long rest, guys. <laughs> we need a long rest. <laughs> I feel like we should. God. If we survive this, let's go back to those beds and create a fort. <laughs> <laughs> If. <laughs> if it's the jail. Good. The jail's nice and defensible. <laughs> Alright, so Thorfinn's it turn. Thorf- Thorfinn's turn will mm-hmm. he'll be setting up stuff and at the end of your turn, sir, you are going to hear the blood curdling orcish yell from down the hallway. Gotcha. Uh 
It is the mutton chop man's turn, and he will step <clears throat> forward. In fact, I'll, 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 I'll be nice. I'll go ahead and step here so Garland can do his Eldritch Blast, and I will short bow hey. at Krogal. Oh, this guy. I'm... Hey, might miss. He might I miss. Might 18. <laughs> Oh, nope. I, 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 I rolled one damage. This is so fitting. <laughs> you could have um, breathed on him. But no. Okay, no. so he takes one damage, but then he shoots Crowell and does four damage. Wait, what did he get for to hit? 18. Oh, yeah, I'm down. <laughs> See you in 1d4 hours. <laughs> or. <laughs> yeah. Or I'll rise up from the nine hells and drag you all with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Garland is joining you in a second. What you doing, Alyssa? Oh, I can't move over. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we try, we almost get to do something, <laughs> they die. Right. Seems, <laughs> seems to be the pattern. From now on, every time we're at the cusp of mystery, we should run away. Probably. <laughs> <sighs> That's a, that's the time to find them. Ooh, there are two separate plot I never used my hit die. I'm a dummy. Y'all yeah, also never fool. took a short rest. Nope. Oh. I thought I healed him up pretty good. You did. But then he got crit. Then he got crit. Oh, more. And then the Fire Nation attacked. Uh, Krogal. <laughs> oh no, the Fire Nation is gonna attack soon. It's gonna come around your turn. Give me a death saving throw. I couldn't have done this two turns ago. Hey, you just gotta one. get 20, buddy. It's true. You know, you know. That 20! Wait, Give me that green! Oh, oh Rob. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with it. <laughs> All right. Garland. Um, how Garland. far do I move? Okay, 30 feet. Perfect. Um, I, d if, I, you, if you find oh. me. <laughs> Oh god. He's just going in. <laughs> I am using burning hands. Um, hold on, I pressed in the wrong place. Uh, so they have to roll reflex saves, correct? Um, Why don't you link they me have to beat spell. my spell. Yeah. Uh, so burning hands. Each creature in a 15 foot cone must make a dex saving throw. A creature takes 3d6 fire damage on a failed save or half on a successful one. And the DC is 13. I Hooray. Did anyone make it? I have to reopen character sheets. All my cool stuff got closed during the, the crash. I didn't expect y'all to be fighting right. bandits again. <laughs> <laughs> you should always expect us to be fighting them. If there oh, are right. bandits, we will find them. <laughs> right. So and by we, you mean Corgo and, and the Garland. Yeah, that's What's true. your DC? 13. Uh, the human saves, but the dwarf does not. Seven. Oh, uh, so three days. Oh, dang! <laughs> dang! Uh, Jiminy Cricket ain't good. <laughs> oh, so... How many spells am I supposed to have a first level? You're a warlock, so maybe one. Oh my god. Yeah. Yep. You've, that's it. Back to the old flow chart. Hey, he's still got, he's still got his breath. <laughs> yeah, he's still got my fire breath. Is that a bonus action? Oh, no, I think it's a full action. I'm saying if he survives next round. I'm, I'm legit asking about dragon breath. Um, I'm fairly certain it's full. It doesn't say it's full in the deck. I'll check uh, the PHB. Yeah, let's see. Breath. You use your action. Yeah, it's a full yeah, action. Yep. Okay, so thus endeth your turn, unless you would like to run away. I, I think I. No, I think that was my full move. Yeah, because you just charged him like a boss. Yep. There you go. <laughs> you couldn't have done this, but it was the plan. <laughs> <laughs> I. <did> that. <laughs> Alyssa. In one v four hours, there's gonna be a talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Whether that talk takes place on the material or in the nine hells is up to you all. <laughs> I think it's funny. We're all going to hell. 
I've re- I've lived a virtuous life by the uh, teachings of my God. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm chaotic good, I guess technically. Hey, hey, where is your? I don't actually know my alignment. <laughs> I'll I'll go to like the oh. wild lands or our. Apparently, or I'm true neutral. <laughs> oh, you I'm must a... get reincarnated. <laughs> I'm gonna move that over to chaotic neutral real quick. Sounds about right. <laughs> <clears throat> Tempted to join. Do you got sight on them? We can both go to limbo together. I'll give it three quarters cover, but I will allow for a shot. All right. So, See if I can miss so again. Crit. <laughs> or roll Please. low enough that I don't hey! Yay! <laughs> that will hit and which oh, one are you shooting uh, bu- 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 bu. the dwarf because that's the easier shot mutton chops fine mutton chops is still alive oh, which one's mutton chops the dwarf sneak attack sneak attack sneak attack oh yeah oh, sneak attack wanna... sneak attack was oh. relevant also hasn't isn't mutton chops the one who took full damage from fire, fire breath Yes, no, but he had ass. he had half damage, and he has more hit points than the dwarf to begin with. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> well, a five five or a six would have would have done it because he's got five hit points, but he lives on. Fight another day. Uh, also, if you would have shot the dwarf, you would have killed him outright. Yeah, <laughs> dwarf is the one. It's all good. It's fine. Krogal, you got this. That big one, here it comes. You'll be fine if you get a one. You get one more after that. But please don't. Oh, oh dang! God. It's just teasing you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have not... Yeah, there will be a reckoning in 1d4 hours, Garland. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to deliver the coup de grace myself. No. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There will be a reckoning in one of the 400 centuries, Garland. <laughs> when I'm a barbarian lich, I'm oh, back for you. Oh, that sounds scary. Oh, man. Yeah, why don't you ever see, like, barbarian liches? They're always mage liches. Because barb... I think you have to be a wizard, yeah. really. Vampire would work better. Or mummy. Mummy would be good. Yeah. Or in a tomb, barbarian mummy. That'd be sick. Sorry. <clears throat> Hold on. Oh gosh. I mean, I know your action is just I run, but I, I run. figured I would let you yeah, do it. Just, yeah, I run. There, I measured it. I'm running. Da, 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 da. Okay. Ish. It's close enough. It's there. Come on, Garland. <laughs> okay. these guys so, what are the spells for point like casting in melee in this game? If like you attack rule. with a spell to somebody immediately adjacent to you, you will have a disadvantage. You will not incur some sort of attack of opportunity, though. Okay. However, what about you can also guy? shoot the dwarf guy and get absolutely nothing like done to you. Oh, then that is what I was planning on doing. Yes. Let's do an Eldritch Blast and hope I do more than one damage. Roll a three. First you got a hit. Oh, oh, damn. But you didn't roll one. <laughs> one damage. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> that That's definitely a hit. He seems more confused than anything. Oh, damn. Oh, man. And he will return fire. Oh, boy. If it's above the 12, it hits. Uh, he rolled a 9. <clears throat> Which is good because he would have. He almost had max damage too. Why is there now a suspicious mage with zero initiative in the turn order? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, I think if I'm right, I'm just right behind you, right? Whoop. What the heck what? is going on? I'm clicking a bunch of things. What there the we go. Shit, are you doing? All right. <laughs> All right. What's Hugh Jackman up to? So, huge jack. Would man. you describe that elf as more of a paladin or a fighter bounty? Define that elf. One that's in the in the game. The, the one elf. that's in the woods. <laughs> what? Oh, the one that then <laughs> left. That's more of a merchant. <laughs> yeah, that's a background too. The merchant background. He was clearly a oh, guild yeah, merchant. It is. Mm-hmm. Why? 
Where's this line of questioning going? <laughs> Just in case I get like a one and a two. Mm. This one. Uh, that would be a one two combo. <clears throat> a reckoning. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm yeah, I'm I'm good, so it's mutton chops. Or mage then mutton chops. Mage does mage things. Mutton chop uh... chops. <laughs> uh... Hang on, I gotta go up and read something because it didn't. Dead. Since y'all were uh, complaining about the mage having zero initiative. <laughs> right. would make a good zombie. So... Yeah, <laughs> it will now come to Mutton Chop's turn, and he will drop his bow and pull out a sword and slash at Garland. I thought he was surrendering for a... Yeah. <laughs> for a beautiful second. Uh -huh. 21 hit you? No, of course not. Okay. It's if, DMD. Since no he missed, take three damage. Oh, oh. Okay, I can survive that. I can survive that. Why does no one surrender in this game? Because surrender is for the weak. Uh, <laughs> Alyssa. How many lives would be saved? <clears throat> Only weak lives. Uh, how... Shoot, bearded guy. Then. Do it. That was your chance. Prove yes, yes, yes. murder. <laughs> Dead. Very nice. He looked a lot like a chair. Gar Garland, you're out. Elisa, it's the okay. dynamic to go with Elisa. <gasps> oh God. <laughs> Garland will execute you now. <laughs> yeah. In 1d4 hours. <laughs> Y'all keep talking. I don't get to make my amazingly well thought out chair puns. Oh. <laughs> I was just going to say that Alyssa cherry picks her enemies. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so, so I think Mary just took we're... damage. No. <laughs> are, are we sure Bounty isn't a bard? Because I'm feeling like he's got vicious. <laughs> I I was playing a bard in a Storm King's Thunder game that uh, fell apart sadly after about three sessions. But uh, I was oh, I was no. I was very much viscous mosh greening it up, and there was a uh, the the ranger had cut the ear off of a goblin, and so my vicious mockery was, "Hey, buddy, you can Vincent Van go fuck yourself." Oh, that's pretty good. Hey, oh, yeah. Hey, Garland. Burn. Hey, Garland. I see that. You Are know how to death save. Are you looking I... at the chat? Yeah. Well. That's the wrong dice, Garland. Give me a second. What are you rolling? One hour, Garland. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, I feel, I feel like he, like, locks eyes with Garland, holds up a, like, one finger before passing out, like... <laughs> So two things are going to happen. One, there's actually a turn that happens before Krogal. Oh no. <laughs> no. Oh no. Mage turn. Uh, Ruffia number four turn. And the curtain like opens up and let's just go ahead and do this. Reveal. We made area. bad decisions. Yes, we did. Oh god. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh no. They look like they know how to tussle. These are real badass. Please, not me. So, Anyone but me. <laughs> so the curtain will split open, and there you get a glimpse of a second female behind it, but a scarred female will kind of rush forward and swipe at you with her sword. And roll an eight, apparently. Oh, she, was, she was really nervous about the reveal. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, okay. this bandit should have multi-attack, but I'm just being <laughs> such a nice guy right now. We that, would be dead. Uh, <laughs> but then Krogal goes, and he stabilizes, and then One it hour. is <laughs> Nim's turn. You got this, Nim. I'm moving. Whoops. Not like that. Hold on. Like that. 
We made so uh, many mistakes. Here. I regret nothing. I see. That's because you're a chaotic neutral fool. <laughs> <laughs> you're chaotic good. You're that much better. Ah, so... Oh, from a moral standpoint, on... I have the high ground. <laughs> I don't know if you do. I mean... <laughs> but from I a really life point... Remember. Of... Hey, Griffin. Oh, but... There's a lot of dead people. They all tried to kill us first. I tried to make nice with that orc. He attacked me. You're a bad liar. All I have to say is from my hit point standpoint, <laughs> you have the low ground. I was fully... You, you can't see it because it's not video media, but when you said that, I stopped and I turned to look at my phone as if I could stare through it into your eyes. <laughs> 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 Just to let you know. Yeah, I know. I All I know is I'm retiring after this fight. Was that your double move, <laughs> Nim? Mm -hmm. You're going to be hunted to the ends of the earth, Garland. <clears throat> Garland, you have a female bandit in okay. your direct vicinity attempting to eviscerate your organs. If I move organs. here, can I fire breath the dwarf and the female bandit? You can fire breath mm. everybody. And the third guy for just good measure. <laughs> what is, I, I don't is think I can do it. Is it a line? I yeah, will which tell you which fire breath do you have? That's the first question. Five times thirty foot line of fire damage. It's a line. You can get the two newcomers. You are a brass dragon. That is a five by thirty. Yeah. So yeah, you could hope that it destroys the curtain and hits the person behind it, but I will give her advantage on her dexterity save based on right. But I'm saying, so there's no, okay, I can't, I kind of can't get all one. three. Yeah, no, I'm not going for all three. So maybe the female and the dwarf or no. Mm -mm. No. Because it would be this way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... That is unfortunate. Um, okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm just going to walk over here and elder to the <clears throat> dwarf. Okay. Uh, when in doubt. <laughs> Do 10 hey! damage. Where was that early? You wait till he has one hit point left, and then you do 10 damage. Uh, Garland, Gar is well Garland is a dragonborn of extremes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I either hit with one or 10. Actually, no actually I take that back. He had two, so if you had rolled a one again, he would shoot you in the face <laughs> on his next turn. <laughs> Which was very likely because I can't physically roll anything that isn't a one or a ten. Yeah. Orphan. I get up right behind him. Hey. <clears throat> Hi. Yo, what up? Oh wait, hold on. <clears throat> oh shit. Reinforcement <laughs> from behind the curtain. Garland, disengage, buddy. Disengage. <laughs> oh. What are you talking about? I have two dual daggers and I can dual wield. I got this. <laughs> a nine misses you. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. This is the second one that would have hit you with uh, with the multi attack, but I'm deciding not to give them multi attack. He would have done seven damage yeah. to you. Garland, listen to me. The yes. dodge action. Just the dodge <laughs> action until it's up to you. <laughs> What's the dodge action? It gives everyone trying to hit you disadvantage. No, I know. What's the dodge action? <laughs> oh, no, I got no. it. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> Hold the line, Garland. Hold the line. I don't know what for. None of us can get to him. No. <laughs> I guess he generates sneak attack. That's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Let's> just... <laughs> Cold blood rogue sticks kick in. <laughs> Alyssa. All right. I'll shoot. Blue bandana. Blue bandana. No! No, no, no I you won't. won't. You hit one of the chairs. <laughs> I do. Which is physically impossible. But No, you hit the dwarf because he still looks like a chair. <laughs> <laughs> the arrow bounces off the wall and then goes into one of the chairs. Plunk. Speaking of bandana. Oh no. Blue bandana swipes at Garland. Cries internally. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, eight. Oh, Multi what is all the dice love me? Multi attack would have been a ten okay. or a crit. <laughs> Krogal is stable. 
I mm. breathe stable. <laughs> you got My blood does not trickle or ooze. Good. That's the Krogal update. <laughs> Hey, See you in 50, 59 minutes. Hey. You have 59 this. 59 minutes, yep. 54 seconds. I would like to... Oh, is every round six seconds? Yep. Uh, I'd like to use Firebolt. Nice. Okay. Am I, am I close enough? Yeah. 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 Nice. Well. Hot <laughs> stuff. If that's okay. Nim, like, I don't want to steal your kill or anything. Murders the female <laughs> bandit. Oh, oh shoot. Dead? Yes. Okay. Ooh. Dead and gone. Oops, did I do that? High five. <laughs> Garland. So, the way Guys. you said this works is if I Eldritch Blast, I get disadvantage, correct? Correct. Uh, if you do your breath attack, you it's a save, right? So you wouldn't yeah. get disadvantage? Right, but also, I don't know how many more fights we're getting into. <laughs> Which, by that I mean we're getting into every fight. Long rest. We Garland, long you rest. do you, man. It's worked so far. <laughs> <laughs> it has. Nope, not this time. <laughs> you course. <laughs> Garland, you beautiful fool. <laughs> oh, boy. Boy. <laughs> Can't get there. All right. I regret nothing. So, uh, <clears throat> Garland may have heard this before, but that's not enough, honey. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh. Yeah, I think I've heard that on most of my attacks. Thorfinn. I believe my nickname is now Alyssa. Oh. <laughs> and then uh, Thorfinn's gonna do a. Uh, he can't do much. He got no. Yeah. He's gonna do a Sacred Flame. Hey. <clears throat> So you gotta make me a uh, deck save to be 13. This is the thing. Make sure it's a deck save. 17. Oh yeah. You make it, so you take nothing because I don't. I think it's a save. You don't take anything. Correct. And because it's a cantrip. Exactly. <clears throat> I'm really good at range. Remind me how do you do the measured floor movement? I forget. It's like space bars while you move. Okay. You talking about like yeah. yeah. Um. Ow. <laughs> I was trying. I was trying. Just oh no, I'm sorry, Garland. I'll stabilize you if she lets you be. Does a 17 hit you, Garland? There it is. Yes, yep, it is. It had to come sometime. Three damage. I am still alive! <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Someone's a little salty. No, it's just a little beautiful. bit. Uh, I'm just like, I am entirely salty. <laughs> Uh, Alyssa's like, oh, the distraction's still up. <laughs> yes. Alyssa. All right. Let's try this again. All right. No! Tong dang. We're deleting that character sheet. Like, when we're done with this one shot, nobody else gets to play that rogue ever again. <laughs> That's a uh, fair. That's a fair decision you made there, GM. I approve. Oh, time for the Krogal update. Krogal. <laughs> Six I seconds. Wheeze. You wheeze. I wheeze through my nose. No. Oh. Update the count, Garland. I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> We're still on the fifty-fourth minute. Fifty-ninth minute. <laughs> no. Oh, there will be a reckoning. <laughs> Nim, waste that fool. <laughs> I mean, if I gotta, I gotta. <clears throat> Alright, so I'll move up. Dang it. You Select can do it. Tool, move, move up a little bit. Just, and shoot at the other thing. Hey, you should use his body as a stand. You should. How move. dare you? <laughs> Did I move close enough? I was gonna say, maybe move here. I'm not trying to put you in any sort yeah. of harm's way or anything, but the corner. I don't so. want to die. <laughs> Okay. That's my job, okay? I know, you're doing very good at it. Yeah. <laughs> He's so tanking good. better than... <clears throat> oh, hey. Do you want to be on the list? Be on the list? <laughs> what list? Oh. Oh, exactly. The reckoning list. Alright, I'm just going to uh, use Firebolt again. I'll check the rulebook, but I think you have to be conscious to write lists. 
<laughs> you want to be like a list about it? <laughs> I hate that. that might hit. Does that uh, hit her? 15? It does hit. Yes! Does she die? Still alive. No, she's probably, she's kicking. Uh, sure. uh, I think that was the first damage she got. Yes. Arland, end it. I will. Or I'll be sure to. <laughs> no. <laughs> that with that, I would. Uh, Thorfinn, not Thorfinn. thinking he was going to get this opportunity, uh, bangs his uh, his warhammer on his shield, runs up, and uh, with the fury of the nature itself, <laughs> swings. Seven. Oh, wait, I want to say anything. I hope I crit. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Exactly. Oh Bones Is that the snap. Only crit we've gotten? Yes. <laughs> and she crumples. Oh, so satisfying. Oh, <laughs> Is that it? Garland walks over and tries to slap Krogel awake. Thorfinn like like is like breathing heavily, like he's gotta let the blood settle a little bit. But afterwards he just kinda looks around, he's like what in tarnation, people? Uh, we open the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. No, no, he said you we open you. the door. That's you what do he do that's what to. No more door. Yeah, you I feel like, Garland. buddy, buddy, <laughs> Garland. I know you're not gonna like to hear. <clears throat> you're, I think you're on. I think you're off door duty, buddy. No, no, I'm not saying we open a door. I said we open the door. I know. Oh, okay. I understand. I think. What do you, Nim, Lisa? Mm hmm. Back me up here, maybe no more door duty for the duo. Well, I mean, we were yeah. going to ask them to open that other door, but I mean... Well, clearly door... that was a poor decision. <laughs> I mean... Hey, like, look, I created... Do we need to, like, chain them together so that they can't wander off and almost die? I almost think they shouldn't be butting up with each other, but... Nope. Me and you, uh, I ain't going to take the other one or the other. <laughs> well, okay, while, they're arguing, uh, no, no. while they're arguing, I use Mage Hand to try to slap Krogal awake. <laughs> Oh, don't do that. He's mighty hurt. Dear, I don't think that works that way. You know, while we're here and there's a nice little table and some chairs, why don't we sit down for a minute? I think yeah. that's a fair option. Let me just hold on. Thorfinn's going to look over Krogil and, like, I know we know he's stable, but I'm going to do, like, <clears throat> check him. Is he, what's, he's just like, he's just, is he really just like if he stays for an hour, he'll wake up essentially? Yes. I'll wake up with one hit point. Okay. So yes. Thorfinn, like, Thorfinn, like, gets over to the huge ass half orc, and what fell? What fell you? Bolt. I think it was a crossbow bolt. Crossbow bolt. So yeah, there's a crossbow yeah. bolt sticking out of his like neck. <laughs> Thorfinn like takes that out and like just this marveling over the fact that this boy ain't dead. <laughs> All right. It's All right. a feat of modern. Well, remember you got Marvel. shot, and then you like your orcish resistance allowed you to stand steadfast and then the next guy shot you so there are in fact yeah. two protruding yeah for each for each um never mind, never mind. crude anyway <laughs> yeah start dragging his body put him on the it's, table i'll be fine in like 57 minutes <laughs> you want to roll a d20 just to see what you would have got from the lingering injury table <laughs> i know what how I much harder the record it would have been yes i will roll that <laughs> an eight you say no more teeth. No more teeth. No, he's an orc. That's his only currency. <laughs> Broken oh, ribs. Oh. Fair. Broken ribs, which have the same effect as an internal injury. Whenever you attempt an action in combat, you must make a DC 10 constitution saving throw. On a failed save, you lose your action and cannot use reaction until your next turn. This injury yeah, heals you if you receive magical healing or if you spend 10 days doing nothing but resting. Can, can we give him that so he doesn't kill me? Garland, 10 days. There will be a record. <laughs> I feel like this, this will go on for the rest of their life. He just keeps on uh -huh. extending it. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Until the one day I don't. All right, so what do you guys think? Should we take a bit of a... a, a you're thinking we should rest up here, Alyssa? Or Nim, who 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 offered Nim that? Nim is out? already sitting on one of the cushions. Yeah, okay, I yeah. think that's a good idea. Same here. Dorfin's just gonna. My buddy. Dorfin's. <laughs> I think we. I moved him onto the table, so he's not on the floor. Mm. Yeah, I think it'll be funny if he wakes up on the table. Uh, Dorfin <laughs> is gonna sitting around him as. <laughs> yeah, exactly. essentially, nice. we're just eating around this giant orc body. <laughs> you know, Griffin, move your body onto the table. Uh, 
the orphan is going to just peek through this curtain here and make sure there's not goddamn motherfucking bandits or, <laughs> or like a possum. Fortify the room with the bodies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cur- Perfect. Curtain peeking would have gave you that. Okay. All right, There's Thorfinn. Uh, no, Thorfinn no produces more uh, tobacco, gives him to Lisa, and then no passes the around some of the uh, pear thing he's got. Would you have peeked uh, through the bottom curtain? Mm-hmm. Okay. I uh, use mage hand to start serving the food to everyone. Door, door, door. Room uh, beyond. Room. How beyond. dare you? <laughs> more doors. So I gotta check, but I'm pretty sure I don't get nothing from a short rest in terms of spells. That's a long rest. Mm-hmm. Right. As a cleric, no. So. That's fine. I use arcane recovery. <gasps> oh, you got a spell, Nim? Dang, that's dumb. It says once per day I get regain spell, spell slots with combined level equal to or less than level. These damn the bandits out of here. Are short. I think it's. Mm, what's it say on your character sheet? Um. I'm in my PvP already and take too long. Just took. Uh, long rest, yep. <clears throat> We're fine. We just got no heals and so, no raging. <laughs> everyone may roll their hit die if you would like to I regenerate think... hit points that way. <laughs> Y'all can. Really like to... Y'all I can. Think it's re- oh. It's hit die plus con, right? If you mm-hmm. click the button, it automatically does it. So yeah. D8 plus 2. So Garland gets 9. Garland is, it goes up to 10 health. Ooh. Back up to full. 10. That's Interesting. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, guys. So while we're here, should we uh, execute? <laughs> <laughs> what? The, what? <laughs> what are you talking about now? <laughs> What? Did I say something? Did I, did I say something? Should we execute the half or? How dare you say that about my friend? I'm sorry, I do I got caught in my ears? Did I not hear that? Neil? No, that's so, what I heard. I Are um... you all conspiring to kill my friend? <laughs> I'm telling him when he wakes up. You know what? I'm not even gonna. It ain't worth it. <laughs> you know, I, I'm so, done here. We won't kill either of you two if you quit wandering off. How about that? That's a fair point. Because if you start wandering off again, then I'm gonna do my little sleepy spell on you. Mm, and you okay. can just stay here. Right. So here's the thing. Yeah. The- I just fo- I just borrow Corlag so he doesn't die, and someone can protect his limp body when Did he gets just peppered by crossbow bolts. Dyslexic right. the fuck out of his name and call him Crowlag. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I did. <laughs> He actually, uh, Garland actually doesn't know his name. <laughs> no, no, Garland does not. Uh, the omnipotent GM voice from beyond the plains tells the party that they have time for one more room, so they will not be splitting regardless of any... <laughs> of anything. Okay. Right. Well, if we got... Okay, thank you very much. Well, if we got one more room like that voice said, I think we should see the, uh, we've, we found a mighty fine room. Does it have Athletics a door? Tech? It's got <laughs> it's got the best door, but you have <laughs> lost your door. Let's go, Garland. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh no no! Oh, oh, no. Okay. Stop him! Oh, you want to do the cave, Nim? No, no, the the fancy doors, fancy doors. Run, Garland! Sprint. I know. Use those athletics. I want to know something. <laughs> I want to know what's in both. It's fine, fine. <laughs> fancy doors, fancy doors, historical doors. There we go. I'm there. I made it to the door. Bye. All right. So what's the plan? <clears throat> All right. Sorry. Gee. Oh, these are not the right folks for this door. Just no. gently open them. I'm gonna make hand it open. Relax. I gently open doors. You're okay. fine. Thorfinn's gonna go back and do that cleaning of the thing. Is this a push or a pull door? It appears to be a push door. Okay. I'm going <gasps> to summon. Not again. I'm, I'm going to summon mage hand. I'm going to hide no, back here. I'm going to summon mage hand. Here. I'm going to Garland, s- get grab the here. handle and then very rapidly push it open. Garland, get over here. <laughs> I'm fine. Garland. The entire room begins to rumble as the doors attempt to push open but are held fast. Noise. It, it's a push door. <laughs> noise begins to emanate from behind you as the fronts begin to fall off several of the stone sarcophagi. Oh god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look what you did now. 
Hey, you told me to open it. No, we said no door duty for you. What? Well, it wouldn't have been any different if you opened it. Thorfinn's just shaking his head, pulling his hel his kettle helm around and bracing for whatever's coming. It did say, Neil, if you're going to be penitent, um... Well, we weren't penitent, that's for sure. Well, I hope you cleric have anti-undead spells, because that's on you. Yeah, maybe if I was level two. Uh, <laughs> I've got an idea. Today, I... Wait, he didn't read it. Alright, Thorfinn does remember what he says, so he kind of... I think Alyssa said it, so... Was it Alyssa or Nim who said we have to be penitent? I think it was Alyssa, right? right? It was Nim. Nim? Alright, so yeah, Thorfinn like nods his head like, shit, you're... And against all everything, puts his weapon to the side, not to the side, but he stows it, and he gets down on one knee, and he does kneel down his head towards these individuals. So but that's what I'm doing. I don't okay. know what the hell y'all do. do. I'm doing the same, to be honest. Uh, so the I've been yelled at a lot of the penitent for. <laughs> the fronts of three of the sarcophagi fall off, mm -hmm. and shambling out of them are the skeletal remains of what you assume to be the knights of whatever order was, you know, guarding the tower and stuff. Uh... And so, I got Thorf and Neelan. Who, who else Neelan now? Me. I, I'm Neelan. I did bad things. <clears throat> I'm, I mean, if everyone else kneels, I might copy, but otherwise, I'm too chaotic neutral to kneel. Okay, so let's go This ahead. is where the good part comes in. You need <laughs> to be good. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Alright, so anyone not... Well, let's just have everyone roll initiative, I guess. Okay. Okay, let me click him first, then roll it. Yeah, I'll do that. Hey, come, hey, I'm consistent, nothing else. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not twins with Krogal anymore. Of course we aren't. <clears throat> no! Roll it, knows. Roll it, oh. knows. Oh, no, Krogal, why? I like that I still have the door selected, so the door just rolled initiative. <laughs> <laughs> they might as well be enemies. Yeah. We have done great injustices to their people. <laughs> Uh, I need uh, to remember that that zombie sheet does not uh does not roll secret. What a jerk! It's like hi guys. <laughs> so unfortunately, the two skeletons will be going first. Who <clears throat> who stated that they were not kneeling? Um, I said I'd kneel if everyone else is kneeling, but otherwise I'm not. Is there anyone not kneeling? The GM asks. As he readies a skeletal horde. Well, if, I mean, it seems like everyone is kneeling. Okay, so you. But is kneel... everyone penitent? Garland. <laughs> I feel really <laughs> sorry that we didn't reread it and start paying attention before we started trying to open the door. I think um... uh, something tells me that the way <laughs> the split that has been visible in this party will show itself here once again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like, when they get right up in your face, you stay down. If the entire party is kneeling, the skeletons will stand fast where they are. They're, they kind of look around with hollow, empty eyes, and then they will shamble back into their little sarcophagi. Garland, what is that ruler? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, no, if they no, weren't no. going too high, I was considering if I could run up and fight them. <clears throat> them All but... right. So, Th so Thorfinn, <laughs> Thorfinn lets out a sigh of relief, puts back his helmet on, and then walks over to these two and looks them both sternly, very sternly. And he says, see, sometimes inaction is the best route. All right? Hey, don't what? yell at us. We kneel too, bud. Mm -hmm. Just take it a heart, maybe. I'll walk life. over and I'll slap them both and be like, just listen up. Sometime. Mm. I push the door open. <laughs> of course you do. <sighs> oh, ding down. I do it with you because we're buddies. We're buddies. <laughs> yes. Until right, I it kill it. you, we're buddies. <laughs> yeah, uh, Thorfinn just like throws his hands up there, looks at Nim like, oh, <clears throat> shit, I love it. Oh, God, it's praise me. So, I, I, mage I, I, hand or actual push I, the door? Uh, 
I think we both kneel down in front of the door and push it. Oh, <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I learned the exact wrong lesson. <laughs> the funny thing is, is you actually have to kneel in front of this door or the zombies attack you. So. Oh my. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're a two really? door. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Yes. <laughs> Fire breath. I shoot it. Quality. Dorfin. Dorfin just on, dies. Let's go. This is our triumphal no, moment. But, but seriously, y'all. Uh, this will be the end because I got to wind down and start doing dinner and stuff. So you, you open the doors. They open inside. Uh, inside is a... You know, this room is surprisingly clean compared to the layer of dust on everything else. Uh, and once you come inside, you can see that there is a raised uh, altar, as it were, at the far end of the chamber. And there's a single stone sarcophagus. Uh... <laughs> right. Uh, single stone sarcophagus up on the raised platform. And it's totally decked out in the same kind of armor. And he has, you know, a long sword laying next to him on... One side in the carving and a large shield on the other. And Nim's amazing historical historicalness will uh, let her know that this must have been the commander of this particular fort and the controlling, you know, garrison that stood up in the fight against the orcs all those years ago. Hmm. And, uh, science. Science! I reckon, I I mean, y'all could... Even if it's only (laughs) semi-canon. Y'all could, uh, pry open open and turn into grave rubbers if you want, but I will take, Mm. uh, we'll we'll call it like three minutes before I shut down officially, so... Questions, comments, concerns, final actions, and motifs of what your character does following its glorious adventure into this fucking tower. Kroga, uh, Kroga, I want I, I want the door buddies door to go over. first here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we learned one of the why one of the the big truths of D anD D is a truth, which is we always split the party. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think. <sighs> We become professional door openers where we're hired by the dun- exp- adventurer parties to open doors for them until the mysterious disappearance of Garland. Yes. <laughs> just one time, Garland, Krogel just comes back without Garland. But it's okay, Garland knows teleportation spells by that point. He'll be back. <laughs> so, really, we're, he's on a different plane preparing the doors for Krogel's arrival. Yes. Have y'all ever seen uh, the reward, the little animated comic? No. Remind me after. Uh, I'm I'm vaguely getting a vibe between the pair of these. All right. <laughs> it's it's oddly reversed though, because the the wizard's the the crazy one. Uh, oh, rather yeah. than the uh, Lyra. No, I guess that makes sense. I'm misremembering. I'm thinking of the other comic that the the creators did. Let me let me go find it while y'all talk. Ready to go. This duo, they need to come back someday. What's, uh, what's, uh, Alyssa, what's the deal? Are we just gonna do this step by step on my eyes? Let's do it, buddy. <laughs> my god. I believe in us. <laughs> uh, maybe the three of us should, uh, <laughs> party up, make sure that we never get hooked up with <laughs> them again. <laughs> oh, wow, that's just. <laughs> uh, Thor- Thorfinn wouldn't object to that uh, outcome. I mean, he's, uh, he's a preacher man, and he's used to traveling and spreading the word of his goddess, but, uh, eh, could take a break. Yeah. I mean, as long as we keep on finding cool shit like this, I'm game. Yeah. So yeah, long as we can pluck the weeds from the garden of the world, fine with that. <laughs> I mean, I-, I can deal without all the blood, that's that's fine. Um, but I'll get a I'll get a mallet. I need, I, I need a way to uh, preserve that mural and these statues. They're fantastic. Well, if we uh, break it up, I can mend it later. So uh, we could just destroy it and then kind of recreate it later. No, no, what? no. 
yeah, like we an artist and they <clears throat> do a painting and then they take it with them so that it can be redone like elsewhere without destroying the original. What are you doing? Well, that's a fair idea. It's a little lo longer, I guess, but uh, all right. That's how you preserve it. <laughs> I like how you have that way. I have the I have the uh, English government's <laughs> way of getting artifacts. <laughs> you don't take it apart. Yeah, okay. just break off a big piece of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <'cause laughs> that's good enough. Reassemble it. It's the exact same thing. Yeah. No, it's oh. not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a heart attack over here. That's the same. Nim sounds in pain. <laughs> Um, I I need my character. I need this character um, for my own little uh, booklet because I like her a lot. Aww. Yeah. Mm. I just like a dwarf with a uh, western twang. That's what I'm like. <laughs> it's <laughs> good. Like, it so, is. I'll tell you what it was. I was listening to shit. What was it? It was um. I got the name of it. Dogs, dogs in the vineyard. Mm. That's that's what uh. Yeah. You, you were reminding me. Has anyone watched uh, Acquisitions Incorporated? Mm -mm. I heard a lot about it. Yeah. Should pick it up. Uh, Omen Drawn, their like CEO of their little adventuring corp or whatever, is played by uh, yeah. Jerry Hawkins, one of the guys from Penny Arcade, and he's he's a cleric, but he runs their like adventuring guild. Very like like I said, CEO. Like he's the boss. It's all about contracts and stuff like that. So he's a very clerical cleric, um, <laughs> but. They're investigating this warehouse one time, and spoiler alert, they're investigating this warehouse, and they're in disguises, so they're trying not to sound and act like themselves. So uh, he's doing a southern accent as he talks to all these people. And uh, as they kick out this other group that was in the warehouse, uh, Omen's like, and I, I think these guys get the point. But And then as the guy tries to respond, he's like, no, 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 son. It's a joke about swords. You can figure it out later. But his like <laughs> his terrible southern draw is as soon as Seator started talking, that's all I could think of was the cleric just like doing this faux cowboy fucking exactly. now, now I seem to recall that y'all don't have the proper paperwork to be on these particular premises, so I suggest you, <laughs> I suggest you gotta you gotta pump pummel them with the punctuation. <laughs> I'm just the chat is amazing right now. But uh anyway guys, I hope you all had fun. Guys and ladies, I'm sorry. Uh I hope you all had fun. This particular map is one that I stole from a fourth edition dungeon because I'm a bastard like that. Chopped it up in MS Paint, did a little bit of changes to it, said fuck it. Every time I run a one shot I'll just run people through this here dungeon. So some people go the route of playing with orcs and bandits, some people go straight for the fucking caves and all of the mystery therein. I'm sad that that did not happen. But y'all are the first people to be like, room full of sarcophagi, this is where I want to fuck around. So <laughs> I still haven't got to do the undead swarm because every single one of those sarcophagi has a guy in it, but uh Oh dang. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I only I, I started with three because they come in like waves. Um, I'd be a bit but... more comfortable if I was level two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we had a paladin, I might have yeah. been like crow gold kneels for no man. <laughs> <laughs> but instead, you kneel no. So the so amount of tired. stuff that y'all fought, I would have actually leveled y'all up to two, uh, based on hey. time shortage at this point, though I didn't want to, like, stop for 30 minutes to make sure everyone leveled up correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, but normally where you would have done the short rest, I would have given the GM nudge to be like, let's call it a long rest, level everyone up, and come in here fresh level twos. Uh, and then we would have gone to the Caves of Mystery, or the Mausoleum of Madness. Uh, and handle that appropriately it's all about that alliteration yeah that wasn't alliteration. i was interested in those caves that was the sonnets <laughs> the caves are fun yeah the, the, i thought it was a lot of fun the caves yeah. have yeah. all sorts of fun fights in them, <clears throat> but you know there is enough that y'all could come back in here if ever the five of you were to ally forces again i could oh. figure it out <laughs> hey hey i'm actually a really smart guy i have <laughs> i have knowledge arcana knowledge history knowledge nature i can talk about I trees have, and history i have with plus you guys. one wisdom plus i got like Same six here. more different kinds of chairs i could copy paste on <laughs> oh well I'm now you have bad. my attention <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
gonna but smite those chairs. I'm gonna go make thanks. some stir fry, so y'all have thanks fun. Thanks for running. Yeah, yeah, thanks for running. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks. Thanks.